It's been a while since I played this game, but it just came out with a brand new DLC called From Ashes. Want to check it out? Guess we'll hit continue, see where we left off. Uh, bear with me today. Uh, I'm sneezing up a storm. I think I've got a little bit of uh, allergies. Oh. I'll try not to s to sneeze on stream, but they come quickly. In the middle of fighting, I will sneeze on you. All right. So from what I understand, this DLC allows you to rebuild uh, a town. Ooh, there's a lot of drums going on. I can't see. I can't react to this, guys. Okay. Uh huh. Privislavets. Okay. Uh, the village was once again left to slowly, to be slowly swallowed up by the woods. Uh, before being. Uh, mm hmm. Why the folks never went back to live there? Plans for his former hamlet. Alright, sounds good. Let's go do it. Now, where the fuck am I? Oh, Alright, I think I know where I'm at. Yep, I know where I'm at. I do not remember how to play this game, though. That's a thing. Okay, down arrow. That's what gives me that. What the hell am I wearing? Was I drunk? Was I drunk doing this? Because I have no idea. I look snazzy, though. I do look snazzy. Armor. I do have a nice bassinet. I do not remember doing this. I do like the black fancy shirt though. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, those are my, my nice gauntlets. And oh, that's is that the is that what I'm wearing? I think so. No, I had a better one than that, I thought. That's <laughs> Heretic's hood. Stole the shit out of that. No, I think that's it. That's the one I'm wearing. This one right here. Okay. A little bit of food. Bunch of quest items, other. We were level 19. Maxed out in the first three stats. Looks good. I could still work on those, but this DLC is not about this, is it? Hopefully, I won't have to fight too much. Maintenance skills maxed out. Reputations pretty solid in places that still have human beings. Living. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Some stolen things. As I would. I should move these to inventory. Oh, I have two of them? Yeah, let's grab them both. Why do I have an arching bassinet? Is that a better one? I don't think it's better. I know that's definitely not better. I don't know why I have some of this armor. Maybe I just thought it was nice. Maybe I stole it off someone I killed. Epilogue. Talk to Capon. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we haven't done that, so we should probably do that. Yeah, we should probably do that. Good day, Henry. Yeah, good day to you too. All right, let's let's get rid of this stuff real quick that was stolen by hiding it in one of my houses. 
Okay, I think that's everything that was stolen. Oh, nope. I just keep robbing those noblemen. Okay. How are we looking on food? How do I check? Player? Oh, let's look at this. There we go. Nourishment, 86. Energy, 100. Yeah, we're not eating today. Alright, let's get outside. I want to go build something. There's my horse. Okay, uh, that's that's not the button. See, this I've been I've been way too long. I forgot how to play. <sighs> now, how do I bring up the map? That, that's not it. Let's see. I think there's a faster way of doing the map. I could fast travel. Let's not. And say we did. Okay, what button did I just do? <gasps> this is horrible. That this is horrible. Do I have a bow? I do have a bow. How do I put the bow up? There we go. Okay, that's what I had done. All right, got it. That was the D-pad. That was right on the D-pad. Gallop is oh oh, got it. Now, last time I tried to do this epilogue, there was supposed to be a loot crate there with a bunch of high end loot, and uh, it was labeled as uh, not mine. And if I tried touching it, everyone woke up, and then they tried to murder me. But they were all invulnerable because it was. They were story important characters, so it turned out pretty bad. Did I miss my turn? I think I did. I am not going through the woods. Yeah. I'll make a turn up here at the. I think there's a mill. Or a split in the mountain. Yeah. Map! Is that the map button? That was the map button. Yeah, I am getting close to it. Okay. So, yes, we have to go here. And I just gotta make a turn here, and then I can make it up through there. Or, from where I'm at, I could just fast travel. There we go. If you've played this game before, Privislavets, the town I'm going to rebuild, is the town that was featured in the, one of the major battles in the game uh, early on, well, about halfway through the game, whenever you're you're taking over Privislavets, it's filled with bandits and uh, um, those hung, the Hungarian dudes or whatever they were. The place has been abandoned for years, and now we're going to clear the trees around it and rebuild. But before I do that, I have to go to finish the story by doing the epilogue. Yeah. It's right up here. Yeah, Capon's been uh, hiding out, just waiting for me. He's camped out for a good couple weeks. Cause I remember uh, I missed him going out here and then went and did a bunch of quests. I, I was not about to relog or uh, reload and do all those quests over again. I did a whole bunch of uh, tidying up the, the quest journal. Here we go. You guys left your horses way back here. Oh, oh, something's happening. And then it crashes. No. Maybe. Possible. Oh, thanks, game. Let's let's look at this first. Is it? It's Rob. It's still robbing. God damn it! Hello, Sir Capon. How about it, Henry? Can we go? Are you ready for this? Sure. 
course. At last I'll get to see more of the country and have a bit of an outing. Quite. So this is before the DLC, this is where the game ended. If uh, it didn't technically end Let's end, you get then. to replay after I this. Have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. I hope saving his drunken majesty. I'd rather find that horse than who murdered my parents. Get the sword back from him. Hell yeah, I want that sword back. I have a feeling you'll get your chance By the time I got good at actually wielding a sword, it was already gone. It would be nice to actually try it out. I hope the music's not too loud in the stream, guys. Hope you guys can hear me. All right, the end. There we go. Finished it. Good, good live stream. No. It's supposed to pop up a message. I've done this once before on a different load, on a different uh, save. It said something about uh, you can now continue the game. Blah 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 blah. I believe. Okay, <laughs> better. We'll see. Okay, that's a long the end. We're waiting for the music to finish. Okay. Now what? Press X to continue. Can I continue? Okay, they're probably going to put me right back there by him, which means it's updated. I just need to leave. Get the hell out of there. So I'm going to try that. When it loads in, if it puts me where it last saved, which was right there at his camp, we're going to leave the camp. Because technically, the next big part of the story involves Henry going somewhere else. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Okay, so we got to see the riding off into the sunset. That's great. So we are not going to go that way, because it would just be a loop. Where do we need to head for this quest? Uh, let's check our quest log. I don't see it. Also, not looking at the right one. Was I not supposed to do this? I don't know. I should probably read, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's try checking the map. I think I need to go talk to S Lord Divish or Sir Divish. So let's see if I remember where he's at. He might be at Rite still, but I'm thinking he's probably gone back to Townburg. What's this? Quest giver. Let's go there, Townburg. Yes, I would like to fast travel. I uh, I heard a lot of the bugs got fixed. Fewer crashes, uh, problems with save games not uh, loading, and then the saves being corrupt. All been fixed, hopefully. I mean, there's still probably a few bugs here and there. I also heard that they, uh, from reading over the patch notes, they changed combat to make it more realistic. Yay! So I'm going to die now. There is a hardcore mode that involves um, not being able to fast travel not having a map, or if you have a map it doesn't show your location on the map, so you have to navigate with where the sun is and oh, hold up, don't interfere watch the battle, let's watch now, one of the the last bug fix uh, rounds they did, a couple patches ago, okay, that's much better alright, let's get off we need to get geared up so let's get geared up. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna get all kinds of geared up. Golden Spurs are on. Yep, put those on. Yep, yep. Hold on, guys. Don't get in the fight just yet. Just just wait for me. I I have to pimp out my character. Okay, I think we're good. What weapon do I have equipped? I have a necropolis sword. 
Okay. Where's my St. George's sword? We'll go with that. And that. Yeah, that is not a better sword. That is not a better sword. Okay. Okay, I'm bad with the bow. Okay, how do I swap to my other weapon? There we go. You look like a bad man, sir. Are you a bad man? You are a bad man. There we go. Now, now you guys are just killing me. I thought we were going to fight. Oh, that, that seemed close. Okay, pushing down does not sprint. Uh, how did I miss? Dude, what are you doing? I want to fight. I want to see these new systems. Come back here. Sir. Sir. I'll let you have the first blow. I won't, but that's what I'm going to tell you. Oh, that was so close. we got to aim up a little bit. Damn, he's fast. Horace, get here. Come on. Come on. We got we to gotta take this guy. We got to take this guy down. Come on. Let's go. All right, come on. Yeah. Now, I'm absolutely horrible with the bow, but I'm even worse on yeah. horseback. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hit the freaking horse in the head, aren't I? Yeah. Just knock him over. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, so I've lost him. Well, I thought I was going to get some loot. Yeah. That did not happen. But I figured out how to pull the bow out in a situation that wasn't going to get me killed, so yeah. that's good. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. Let's put the bow back up. And remember to buy some arrows. Yeah. I don't see anybody, but someone saw me. Okay, we're just gonna keep rolling back where we were. Maybe we'll yeah. run into those those guys that were chasing off the uh, guard. All right, which way did we come from? That's a good question. I think I think we came from that road, to be honest. Yeah. I could check the map. I could. Am I, though? Mm. Yeah, none of this looks familiar. I've gone way past where that was, anyway. Uh, but we're not too far away. We're not too far away from Ta um, Talmberg. So let's keep going. I did put my stuff away, right? Yep. Good. I don't want to have weapons out near civilians. They, they freak out. Hello, lady. Watch out. There's some... Yeah, there's some people over there. You should probably not go that way today. Oh, hey, sheep. Ba -ba. Yeah. Okay, now we're checking the map. Is that is that in front of us? I think it's there in front of us. Nope, that is not it there in front of us. That's this. But we're not far. Okay. 
Um, we did take the wrong road back there. We should have went through the woods. We should have went through the woods. So what we can do is we can just go up to here. How do I put a marker on here? A marker. There we go. Yeah. And then we'll turn there at the marker. That'll work just fine. That sky is bright. Okay, this is the turn. Okay, okay. Yeah. town work yeah, let's get up there and find Divish last time I was here uh, with the save he was up in his room the lady was uh, was not to be found oh the civilians are back okay that was a bug that they had finally fixed the final battle had us taking back that keep and so the village cleared out because it had been taken over by bad 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 guys so um, I, I would walk around the village and all of the villagers were missing. All of them. Uh, and there were no guards, but uh, not out here. But the, our army would were crouching in line behind like houses. Like they were sneaking up with their bows out. Like they were going to attack the place. But they just went in circles through the, through the uh, housing area here. It was hilarious to watch. It looks like they got that fixed. So that's good. Let's get up to the castle. Let's we'll see if they fixed it. I don't have anything stolen on me, so I shouldn't get stopped by any guards either. Or if I do, I'm gonna get in trouble. Yeah, we're cutting the corner. Yeah, this is nice. They've got people back. Oh, they fixed it. They fixed everything up in here. Very nice, because this was all tore up and burned. Yeah, you guys, you guys have already made repairs. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Good on you. Looking for uh, Sir Divish. Alright, let's go find him. He should be... in here? This is his room. So let's not go in there. The lady's like, can I help you? No, don't think so. That bloom. Oof. Let's check. He should be... He's not in here. He's in here praying. Aha! Oh, the lady! Lady's back. Good. Let's see what he says. What do you need? Can I be of service to you, Sir Divish? I've heard talk that something is going on in Pribis Lavis. Henry, you've come at just the right moment. I sent a man to Pribis Lavis, my locator, Marius. Mm hmm. What's a locator? A land allocator. I charged him with checking on the condition of the settlement to see if we can start rebuilding it. You're planning to resettle the village? Yes. Why Pribislavitz of all places? Because it's been lying fallow and falling into ruin since it was sacked by Havel Medic years ago. It's about time that changed. Well, it should be safe there now. We trounced that rabble on the battlefield. Yes. And that's why I sent my master locator there. However, he Let me guess. been back yep. long since. All right, we need a beer. If you've no objection, I could go and look for him. I'd appreciate well, that. Yeah, why would he object? He probably just got delayed. Yeah, he got delayed. You checked it out. Well, I kind of need him not dead. We're going to end dialogue. There we go. All right. I'm going to open this beer. It'd be awesome if, if the lady over there, uh, just every once in a while, like looked over and winked. I'm not saying that because I'm creepy. I'm saying that because there was a quest line where... Uh, uh, behind her husband's back, I helped her out with a few things. 
Henry, I'm glad you came. No, you're not. You just told me to leave. <sighs> well, you're so glad I'm here, but... All right, let's get out of here. We're not going to rob anybody yet. How much money do I have? Because I heard this is expensive. 76k. Okay, I have I have some monies. I have some. That should that should buy us a village, right? I got nothing else to spend that money on. All right. Um Let's check the map. This is where I need my daughter in here. Oh, perfect. Privis Lovitz. Let's just head there. So this is easy. Do we want to ride there? could get in a fight. Can I fast travel? Can I fast travel? Yeah. Right here where the X is, that right there is a um, a quarry for stone, so I'll probably have to come back there and talk to those guys for that. Plenty of trees already here. Might have to go get charcoal from the charcoal guys. All the stuff you need to build a town, you know? I need food, so I'll have to find some livestock. Mm, okay. I'd actually like to get stopped before we get there. I'd, I'd like to sneak up on the... Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yep, this is going to happen. It's going to let me come all the way up to the front door. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> And anyone home? Do not attack before it loads. Thank you. Well, there it is. Um, should we get off the horse? Well, there's no one out here. All right, yeah, we're gonna get off the horse. Horse, you stay here. I got this, buddy. Don't worry. I got this. If I run into anybody, I'll just shoot them in the face. What am I kidding? I couldn't shoot them with an arrow if I had it equipped in my right hand and just poked them. I'd miss. There's a camp over there. Maybe you should go look in there. Seems pretty quiet. Yeah, this place is pretty empty since... Oh. Yeah, okay. I just saw the on-air go uh, red. It scared the crap out of me. Alright, so nothing here. Nothing here. Let's go look up here. There's more tents up this way. And let's not die. Oh, we got a guy. We got a guy. We got two guys. Who do we talk to? Who wants to be murdered first? Hey, you're What's walking. That? We'll talk to you. No, no, so, don't you walk. It's all clear to me now. What is? Who are you? You've no business here. I'm Henry, and I was expecting to find you here. What? How could you? Sir Divish's locator went missing around these parts. Well... It seems like he's all out of luck, don't it? I don't want to fight him. <laughs> I don't want to fight him. I'm too rusty. He didn't send me to parley. He sent me to deal with it. Deal with it? There's plenty of us, and you're on your own. Oh, so I shit. think twice about how you're going to deal with that. Uh. Oh, yeah. Let him go right now. Or you can stay here and feed the crows. I had a 20, he had a 5. Before you. All right, all right. No need to be hasty, eh? We'll be on our way then. Quietly. That fella's in the tent over there. Who's there? <laughs> he just said you guys are going to be quietly. You're going to leave quietly. Go on now. Okay, I won't do that again. Loading screens. All right, and they're gone. Okay, well, I didn't have to fight anybody. Let's find this dude. Check a tent. Check a tent. Nothing in that tent? Nope. What's in here? 
Easy lock pick. Okay, uh oh, let's just stop. Okay, all right, all right. Let's uh, try getting low. There we go. You who put this? Bad form, Peter. Bad form. All right, what about this one? That one's unlocked. Nothing good there. A pretzel. Anybody want a stale pretzel? It's only been here about six weeks. We are not sleeping there. Maybe that tent. No, but there's a loot thing. Oh, this again. Oh, okay. All right. Cheap wine. That was that and the meat, the jerky. That's about it. All right, let's find this guy. He's got to be in one of these other tents since I checked those. Anybody? Where is this guy? I must not have checked all of the. Ah! Hey, hey, buddy! I'm here for you. I could have, I could have snuck in here at night. I still would have had to deal with the guards. Okay, so now we got this guy. What My pleasure. Nice hat. Sir David Truth. I'm Henry of Scalis. My name is Marius Bielek, Master Locator. Sir Divish sent me here to survey the area. Well, the outlaws are out of the way, so we can go and report to him, right? Not just yet. Those bastards okay. caught me as soon as I arrived. And so far all I've seen is the inside of the tent they tied me up in. I still have a job to do. Come along with me if you like. We'll report to Sir Divish afterwards. I think we should go with him. And pay attention to him. I'll escort you then. At least I can make sure you don't get caught again. Oh, more beer. Are there more of those bandits around? No, no, I, j I just meant... Never mind. Should we get going? All right, buddy, lead the way. So, what are we gonna do with this area? Uh, Hooters. This is a good spot for the rat house. Rat house. Every village must have one. It'll be nice and prominent here. It's on the hillside, so the foundations will stay dry. It can have its own little square, close to the church. There's no better site here. I think the rat house is kind of like the uh, that uh, civic center, like the city hall. Either that or it's the shitter. Pretty much the same thing. Well, yeah, what about the church? It looks a little beat up. Could we turn it to a wizard's tower? It would the look awesome. The church is still standing. Good. Good. Whoever built it did a good job. Considering how old it is and what it's been through recently, it stood up well. Yeah. It won't be an easy job to fix it, but it can be done. Can I go in here? Oh, we are totally going to go back in there. We're going to go back in there because I killed that dude up there and then the cutscene pulled me away. I want to see if there's anything up there. Maybe a loot box. All right, so where to now? This is one hell of a hill that everyone, all the villagers are going to have to climb. Can we put some stairs in? Maybe an escalator? Oh, we should get one of those little uh, skiing gondola things. That would be sweet. Or we could just walk this way. Okay. That's an option. Okay, so we got a stage for uh, for putting on rock concerts. Oh. Where to, buddy? You know, you could walk a little faster. It's a nice looking game. I still want this to play in VR. That would be awesome. Hmm. We could fit at least one tradesman's shop here. Maybe a baker's? Okay. Maybe a baker. Alright. I'll keep an eye on that. I'll see if I can find a baker. So the rat house will be right up over there. A baker or something behind me. What about where all those tents are? What are we gonna do with that? 
Ooh, those ladies like to walk. What are you doing? You found a hole. We could put a brothel right here. It needs to be prominent right by the entrance. There's quite a lot of space here. It just needs clearing thoroughly. Then we could even fit stables here. Stables? You might have to level the land a little better, wouldn't you? I mean, it's not that bad, but stables? How many horses are we going to keep? Three? This road's going to have to get widened. Yeah. And put a divider in. Uh, one of those little four leaf clover interse intersection mm. things. Main of Traffic road circle. And stream. Okay, you didn't say much. What do you want to do with it? We definitely need the water. We do have a stream not too far away from this us. bridge. Needs good. reinforcing. It won't last long in this condition. I reckon it would make sense to build a weir over the stream down there. The water here is clean. Mm -hmm. It can be used to supply the village until we sink a well. Okay. It's a good thing we have this stream. No point in building without a water source. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So this is babysitting this guy as he walks around. Now, I could have chose not to do this. I could have just said, yeah, you have fun with that. I'm going to go talk to old, old man. Supplies and trade will flow through here. Okay. Right. You could have said that while walking. Um... But I think it might be important to know where he thinks things should go. Because I'm actually going to have some choice to put some of the stuff down, I believe. At least that's what I've seen in the trailers that I saw for this. And if there's choices, especially when I build or what I build, I do not want to screw that up by putting um, like the shitters I right by the entrance to the town. The trees and ruins, whether there's room for anything there. But at least the trees are strong and healthy. Yeah, let's cut them down. All we need is a few good woodcutters. We won't have to bring in any timber from elsewhere. Stone foundations. They'll come in handy, and we're close to the stream. Sorry I was quiet there. My wife came in and yelled at me. <laughs> I had a couple ants got on a soda can, so I figured it'd be better to move it to the trash can. She didn't like my logic. That if I pick them up and transport them effectively miles away from where they started, hey, a bow, that uh, they would they would just get lost. I'll pick it up. Hey, I found a bow. Is this yours? You want this bow? It's mine. There are more weapons out here. Lots of space here. Yeah. I know that. There's also like a cellar thing. I, I walked down into it. I was exploring. There's a cellar over here. It'd be great for food storage. It's down in the ground. Perfect. Where is it? Right there. Yep, that's it. Watch him come in and go, hmm, this would make a perfect shithole. Yeah, everyone will just There's poop in this. Already. All the better. That's a well? There was no water in there last time I was. There's water! That's... That's new! I didn't... Whatever. Alright, so what does the city need? Clean water, flows mm -hmm. to the village green. A good site for an inn. Right here? Okay, yeah, that's not a bad place. So where do the peasants live? Down there? In the dark zone? That's that, Ben. The most essential surveying is done. Okay, good. Hmm. So now what? Yeah, I could have left him. Ready yeah. to start building? There's a long way to go before that. <sighs> a few ruins that are left are basically beyond repair. It's all overgrown with brush. Oh dear. 
We'll have to get it all cleared before we can start rebuilding it. So it is possible to rebuild everything? Yes, absolutely. But building a whole village is no small enterprise. Hmm. We'll need timber. Lots Got of it. Got that. Which isn't a problem in yep. the middle of the woods, of course. We'll have to hire wage labor to begin with. Quite a lot of men. Hmm. All those dudes from Scallops have nowhere to live. I think we should get started without delay. Yep. There's a lot of work involved. We can put them to work here. It'd be well worth the effort. I can just imagine it. The church will dominate the whole settlement. You it's see, can we turn it into a wizard's castle instead then? Why wait? Maybe a right observatory? Away. But would you keep an eye on things here in the meantime? It would be rather embarrassing to run into more bandits when I return with Sir Divish. Okay. No problem. I'll be right here. It shouldn't take us long. Two hours later. My lord. Wow, that was quick. Okay. Slavitz. All right. That is to say, welcome back to Previous Slavitz after all these years. Well, what's left of it? Not to worry, Marius. <sighs> I'm glad to be back in my old hamlet. Although, it seems to have aged about as gracefully as I have over the years. I beg to differ, sir. It's quite dilapidated, unlike your good self. But at least it's safe. No one likes to suck up. Thanks in part to Henry here, who also saved me from a predicament that cost me valuable time. Who knows? If it hadn't been for him... We might not even be talking now. Yeah, that well, would not have been happening. The They'd end, have been using you as a sex slave, dude. In your own way, I see. Just as you said you would. I did my best, sir. Okay. Um. Oh, I paid the ransom. I want something for it. Let's be honest. I like Sir Divish. He's pretty awesome. He's got some of the best armor in the game they too. Didn't look all that tough. I look up to him. So I put a bit of pressure it's old on grandpa. Them took to their heels. You were outnumbered and you scared them off. Yeah, they were greenhorns. I think they may have been a bit intimidated by me. Let's hope they don't try. I'm literally like covered in metal. Again. I'm quite sure they won't, sir. And it's shiny. Let's get down to the matter in hand, shall we? What state is Pribislavitz in, sir? Bad. In my official capacity as locator. I am gratified to inform you that the hamlet of Pribislavitz may be renewed. And indeed it offers prospects of considerable expansion beyond its former limits. Splendid. Finally some good news for this province. Well, and badly needed too. So, what have you discovered so far? I want to know all the details. I guess we can go down a list. We had a scout around. We conducted a basic survey, from which we can make a preliminary outline of the parcels. I already have in my head an initial plan of what can be built where. That helmet. We should certainly have a church. I'd like to preserve the existing one. That should present no serious obstacles. The building That's is missing a few stones here and there, but it doesn't actually look that bad. It's just the wood stuff. That can but easily be replaced. Extensive reconstruction will be required. That's to be expected. Water and wood. Uh, there's a stream here, and a well right in the middle of the village. Ooh, I'm getting messages. Yes, and there are abundant woods around. Clearing them will provide both extra land and timber supplies that we can use right away. Right now, I believe we're standing on the village green, aren't we? The future green, that is. The village centre will comprise at least six large buildings to begin with. We can't fit any more than that here, so there will be other buildings away from the square. In particular, more extensive structures. Okay. I'm glad to hear it. I never expected you'd find so much space here in the middle of the woods. The building work we're about to engage in is only the first part of my plan. Later, we'll clear more forests for agricultural land and build more farmhouses. But for now, we'll have to focus on more sensible goals. As you wish, my lord. But rebuilding a whole village must cost the king's ransom, though. It's true it won't come cheap. Before the tradesmen settle here and start producing and trading, it will be necessary to invest a certain amount of capital. A certain amount? 
How much exactly? I wouldn't venture to state a precise amount at this point. But I expect it will come to some thousands, even tens of thousands of Groschen. Well, that much? I hope you're good at haggling. We shall, of course, attempt to procure everything at the best possible price. But raising a settlement from the ashes you see around you is a costly business. Nevertheless, I can assure you, my lord, that if all goes well, the investment shall all come back to you with interest. I hope I shall live to enjoy it, Master Morris. Sorry, I got a text at a bad time. Okay, um, so it's going to cost all my monies. Good, I got 71 grand. I can afford a lot of stuff. Who will be living and working here? Peasants, you know, peasants. They have nothing else to do. Their life sucks. A village isn't a village without villagers. You'll need new subjects. Even preparing the ground for building will need lots of labor. Where can we find so many people, sir? You sound skeptical, lad. But it's a good question. I've already given it some thought. I've agreed with Radzik those and Hanish that good. we shall make they an announcement bring back in, in Rattel in style. to invite people to move here and help with the construction, which will bring them many benefits, but also obligations. In addition, I expect the prospects of a new home will appeal to your former Scalitz neighbors more yeah. than a makeshift camp by the castle walls. They're all homeless. Be delighted, sir. Begging. Right now. A splendid solution, sir. I've also been concerned about how to bring settlers here. If anybody's curious, this DLC costs no nine bucks. It's not that big a deal. All. So I want to see if it's worth it. It'll be a lonely village. It's not that far away from... Yeah, that place is dead. Okay. Townburg's the closest place to this one. It seems things are finally looking up. We routed the bandits in battle, and Henry took care of the remnants. When can we get to work? Right away, as far as I'm concerned. All we need is people and the necessary funds. And we'll need someone to keep order, at least in the interim. True. I'll leave you some of my men. If I may, I go. would recommend quickly appointing a bailiff. To take responsibility for the renewal of the village, its coffers and its citizens. Oh, that's True. gonna be me. Hmm. First things first. Since you understand these matters best, you shall take charge of the land parceling and building works. You'll be available to the bailiff, but answerable directly to me. I'd be honored, sir. Thank you. And, as regards the office of bailiff, what about you, Henry? Yes, sir. <laughs> You've He's... proven yourself well. You've demonstrated that you're capable of... And you command the respect of your former Scalitz neighbors. Well, I'm not so sure. And you're also capable of maintaining law and order. I must concur. So, let us expedite matters. Henry, I hereby appoint you to the office of bailiff of the hamlet of Pribislavitz in my domain. Do my I Lord, get a it's hammer? A great honor. Thank you. Ah, you bailiff's guy in court who takes care of the renewal and okay. administration of the village that will set the ground for further development. <laughs> but don't imagine it'll be a bed of roses, lad. Being bailiff doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. If you don't treat the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. Besides, we can't spare a single Groschen from the Talmberg coffers now, with the province in chaos. So, you'll have to cover the cost for the building work Damn. from your own purse. Okay. Me? But Marius said it would cost a fortune. Then I'm building it the way I want to. <laughs> but from what I hear, you know how to get your hands on coin enough. So, I expect you'll manage it just fine. I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. <laughs> and I am assigning you certain specific tasks. You must ensure the rebuilding of the church. That means complete reconstruction, wall paintings, and a new altar. See okay. to it that in the future, the village will be capable of supporting a certain number of people. For that, you will need to ensure the construction of essential artisans' buildings. Okay. And ultimately, the village must produce sufficient earnings to oh fund further expansion. This is a job. But, yeah. sir, I've never done... I yeah. understand your concerns, but you'll be handsomely rewarded. I shall grant you the proceeds from the whole village for the first five years, and you have my permission to use the surrounding woods and land as you see fit. Well, that's, um... Pretty good um, deal. Are you sure I'm the right man for the job, sir? It's a lot of responsibility. As you said yourself, Henry, 
It's a great honor. Besides, you won't be alone in it. I'll assist you and supervise the construction work. Phew. All right, then. I was so, say, don't talk yourself out of your deal. You'll give this document to the Rite Bailiff. He'll make the announcement. Oh, bailiff's mace. Settling, nice. Which should ensure enough people to begin work. Okay. At the same time, your official appointment as bailiff will be announced. I don't know what to say, sir. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, Henry. And now I must get back to my duties at Townburg. Send word when everything is prepared. Certainly, sir. Have a safe journey. Farewell, sir. We're heading back to Retay. Well, Retay's a ways off. Let's get my horse in on this. Horsey. Oh, there you are. Teleporting horse, you. Check the map. Wait for it. There we go. And Retay is only on the other side of the play area. What is this? A quest giver. Ooh, there's a quest I haven't done. That's nice. Oh, I know what quest this is. This is the one working for the... If you've played this game before, you would know that early on you have to steal a ring from the uh, executioner. That's his house right there. I remember hearing of a quest where someone being brought uh is being going to be executed they brought a they brought an executioner from another town and this, this and the executioner from this area is upset he's all but her he's not going to be the one executing these guys so he wants me to make that guy look bad and so uh it's a quest where you dull a blade and you cut ropes uh you do all kinds of stuff ahead of time so that when this guy goes to kill these three people he screws up miserably in front of everybody that's a quest i want to do but right now Let's get back to Rite. As soon as I click on it. You gotta click on the horse. You gotta click on the horse. Come on. You can do it. Come on. It's right there. Let's just zoom in. There we go. Fast travel. And I have my gear and my weapon equipped, so if we have to, I know what button to hit now to actually do things. It's fast traveling earlier. Ran into a conflict up ahead and uh, just could not get my weapons out in time. They ran off. Energy's getting a little low. As long as nourishment doesn't get below 50, we're good. I'll find some beef jerky. Reno, uh, r r Ravna, Ravna, whatever that is. That place is pretty much dead. It was the closest place to Scallets when Scallets got wrecked. So that place has almost no one at it. Wayfarer. Yeah, sure. Let's go to... Oh, I missed it. That was quick. Okay. It, it didn't give me enough time. I don't mind stopping for a Wayfarer. They could always use like a new pair of shoes or something. I, I actually gave really nice fancy shoes to one guy once. It was hilarious. He's like, can I have a bandage to wrap my feet? And I'm like, oh, here's some uh, $1,000 boots. Just take those. You'd be all right. Nothing crazy came of it. Almost there. Wow, nourishment's really going to... This is a long ride. If we do get stopped, I'll eat some beef jerky. I have a perk. I had a perk that allowed me to... Um, if I was well-nourished for something like four days straight but didn't overeat, I would get bonuses to some of my stats. It was kind of nice. I lost it by overeating by 1%. I'm just trying to keep it from getting hungry. It's going to be almost night time by the time we get there. Yeah, we're not even... Is that Ladechko we just passed? Oh my god, this is a long trip. 
I could probably play the hardcore version of this game now, since I know the map good enough. But the traders, apparently in the hard hardcore version, don't give much of a discount. It was a whole bunch of things, like everything from like the way you make money to the fighting is tougher for you. Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. <sighs> right before eight o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Everyone had better be still working. It's not lights out yet. All right, Billy Bob Thornton. Thanks for welcoming me. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, let's check. Let's see if I have beef jerky on me because it could be a few minutes before. I do always carry beef jerky. That stuff never goes bad. Um, where is my nourishment? 68, okay. 74. 80, perfect. That'll keep me. Hey, you homeless guys! You got y'all about to get a new house. <laughs> if you work hard enough. All right, bailiff. Let's go see him. He's upstairs, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. How you doing, ma'am? Can you move the help? Thank you. I need a torch. Holy shit! I can't see a damn thing. I have a document for you from Sir Divish. It concerns the renewal of Pribislavitz. And the village you forged. drove those bandits out of? Very same. So it's true then. Good. Good. Let me see that document then. Here it is. So what have we here? Hmm. 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 It says I should announce that anyone interested may move to Pribislavitz to live and work. And Sir Radzig and Sir Hanush also give their consent. Hmm. In that case, let's not waste any time. Come along with me. Goodbye. All right, let's do this. I'm, I'm here to come along with you. Public announcement. Oh, nice. It's still light out. Yeah, let's go do this. But y'all really need to get some. Why would you do? You told. <sighs> you told me to come along with you, and then you shut the door in my face. You asshole! I'm leaving all these doors open. I want you to know that. He just like knocks over something in your way. It's like you're a jerk. Look at those beggars. Just stand here. With him. Yeah, he's ringing the bell. Come on over here. You guys are just ignoring him, aren't you? Okay. Oh, they, they did form up. They form up over here. Got it. Where we murder folk. Oh, this isn't where you murder. It's just where you make them feel bad. Oh, I should come up here too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shh. I can't walk. All right, I'm ready, dude. Let's get this done. Hear ye, hear ye. It is hereby announced... In the name of Sir Hanush and Sir Divish, that you, the citizens of Ratai, as well as those who have found temporary refuge here, are permitted to move to the hamlet of Pribislavitz, to the north of Tomberg Castle, wherein you shall be vouchsafed a new life and new dwellings, providing that you shall contribute to the renewal of the hamlet. 
All those who choose to accept this offer mm -hmm. shall be exempted from payment of taxes for a period of five years. About check comments. They shall be Somebody permitted also to make use of timber from the surrounding woods and water from the stream. How is the DLC so the far? Of okay, uh, the Black Wolf presents. The nice. I like your name. Divish of Talmberg. And all who so far, it's story, shall be duty but bound to that's him. about a half an hour worth of story, just getting you started where I'm at right Henry now. So far, I'm fine, but I haven't actually done anything to build a city. To the that's coming up. Of and the office of bailiff therein, it does not tell you have been to go get the quest. Him I will tell you that. Divish for loyalty and services rendered. But if you go to Divish, just go straight to, friends, to Sir Divish, he, this offer he is a star on uh, wherever he's at, Talmberg or whatever. Come your way and, um, okay, he didn't really have anything important to say. <laughs> Sorry for talking over him, if you guys cared. Um, but no, if you just go to him, that's all you gotta do. You just go to him and he'll uh, have the quest available. I think it's saving. Yeah, he'll tell you to, to get started. You go find a guy he sent up to go check out Privis Lovitz. You go from there to actually getting that guy broken out for some bandits. Whoa, buddy. You be careful. You just walked through me. Uh, from there, it's pretty simple. It's what we're doing right now. And now I'm going to check the quest log. A place to call home. There it is. Okay, what does it say? Talk to... This guy. Uh, it's a great honor. Talk to that dude. Okay, so that dude way back. Okay. Oh my god. This again. We're gonna have to stock up on supplies just to roll back out there. That place is like five minutes away. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to run over to the house here at the mill. If you guys have played this game before, you know about the the mill here. Um, oh, the miller. The first miller that helps you out after the prologue. Well, yeah. I'm going to sleep there real quick. It'll also allow me to save the game, get rest, grab a bite to eat, and then fast travel all the way out there and we can start building. So here's where we start building. There he is. Peshik? Is that his name? I can't see. Yep, Miller Peshik. I mean, it makes sense. It's almost nighttime. My character would not immediately ride back up there in the dark, hungry and tired. I've fallen asleep playing video games. I'd hate to fall asleep on a horse. I'm not going to eat until tomorrow, so we'll sleep that off. Sleep and save. There we go. Let's get some good sleep. We could, well, because I want my nourishment won't go down while I'm sleeping. I should probably eat food first. Because it'll take some of my energy away. There we go. That should do it. Actually, let's do one more. Go from 70 to 80. There we go. 90. Perfect. Now we'll sleep and save. Four a.m. sounds like a good wake-up call. We'll get there probably about nine. This place is far away. Have you guys played this game before? Can't tell if anybody's still there. Yeah, it says four of you guys watching. Just wondering if you guys had played it, the the uh, the vanilla game. 
If so, did you guys like it? I don't try to get my friends to play games because if they don't like it as much as I do, I feel horrible. <laughs> Especially if they spent money on it. <laughs> but this is definitely a game that anybody uh, I, I talked to that I thought liked this kind of game. If they liked Skyrim. It's very similar to that. If they liked actual real medieval stuff, a buddy of mine on Discord I play a different game with uh, does a lot of live real um reenactment stuff and um, mock combat. I figured he'd love this game. Oh, it is dark as hell out here. I think it's in her weapons. Yep, there it is. There, now we can see. That's right, I got rid of Pegasus, didn't I? Oh yeah, I got the war horse. It's not actually a war horse, but that's its name. All right, we're fast traveling. I am not riding all the way up there like this. Let's see here. Whew, that is so far away. Fast travel. Usually right up here, right about this area, we get stopped by somebody right about there. Right there, yeah. And then again... I've gotten stopped, I believe, by a Wayfarer, uh, maybe, before heading into Ladechko. But the, all the way through here is pretty safe, usually. And I don't run into any other problems until we get out of Ladechko. There's usually like a murderer and a body. Somewhere about there. Right about there, I think. Might be a little further up. That's another thing, these scripted, uh, because they're scripted, they're not random encounters, they can't happen just anywhere. You get used to where they are and you start to figure it out. Like right there I think it might be, out there. There's some drunken bandits in the south, and if you if you kill them, if they attack you and you kill them, they have nothing but like beer, booze, um, wine, and pretzels on them. Oh, and like a stick they use to try to, to rob you. I feel bad for those guys. There might be a spot in here too. Sometime get. Oh, here we go! Attack on the road. Let's scout. Let's scout it out. I'm gonna have to fight. <sighs> okay, turn. Look forward. Ooh. Okay. I don't think I need the torch. I see. Um, Billy, come on out of the bushes, Billy. I see you. I, I see you, Billy. Ah. <laughs> You'll get well. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, we need to get a sword. This isn't working. <laughs> ah! Fuck! Where's my sword? I don't ha okay, hold on. Anybody remember how to play this game? You scratched my armor, Billy. And you bloodied my sword! everything. Yeah, see, look at this guy. He was just drunk. Had to be. 
Had to be. Cheap wine. Let's grab it. You never know. I'll get drunk later. All he had was a foul shoot. You know what? I'm picking it up. I'll take that sword. I'll just grab it by the blade. Yeah, that's okay. That's how you do that. That's how that's done. Um, the sword's not bad. My armor got nicked. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. I'll fix it later. Bunny, you better move the fuck out, dude. Sorry, I had to. It raised my my. Get my. There we go. It raised my hunting. I couldn't say no. Yeah. Is that Townberg? That is Townberg. Well, we're still kind of far away. I'm going to fast travel the rest of it. What are the chances we run into more bandits? Those didn't really count. They were not real bandits. Oh, it's not Townberg. That's that's the Ravonia place. Nice. Sorry for dropping an f bomb. I try to keep. I tried to keep the language down, but I, I spent too much time in the army, so. F bombs are just how you speak to people. Oh shoot. Attack on the road. At least I got my shield out now. Come here, you fucker. Rob punch your gob for you. What? Where? Where? I'll find you, you cur. You oh shit, shit. I hit the wrong button. I did. They're gonna get smack that me. Or. Come on. Oh, I really like your hat, by the way, sir. I really like your hat. I'm going to enjoy this. Okay, okay, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. You're dead. Yeah, well, I don't know what you guys are thinking. Haha, ha, I found my weapon button, and you're dead now. You were drunk! Oh, Moonshine, taking it. I've had a few opportunities in my life. A known potion? Those are considered poisons in this game. I don't need it, though. I've had a few opportunities in my life to uh, partake in a bit of Moonshine. Ooh, what kind of... Is another Falchion? I do not need any more Falchions. Where did guys who just had nothing but booze on them? This is what I was talking about. Look at this. Spirits. Moonshine. Take the moonshine. Hair of the dog potions. That one is a boost to charisma. Yep. Prevents a hungover. A hangover. Hungover. Prevents hungover. Yeah, it does. It prevents that. Um, They had nice swords on them. But I do not need your sword, sir. You get to keep it with your corpse. place is nice. Look at this. Right, how, how far away are we? Let's check the map. Alright, Dora, bring out the map. We are a block away! Are you serious? But it's, it's, it's literally that way. Okay, we're going off the beaten path. I am not following these roads. There are yeah. only bandits on those. Ooh, don't get nauseous. Watch out for sticks. Those kill horses. 
Yeah, this should be it right here. Whoa. Oh, wow. That is a huge difference. I like how they kept that one tree there, though. They cleared out almost everything. Look at that. Nice. Now you get to work on that pile of rocks with your pickaxe. <laughs> gonna do a lot of good. No, this is nice. They knocked out a lot of the old uh, wooden structures, too. Looks like they got rid of a lot of those. All right, let's get up in there. Now, here's one thing I'm going to do before I go talk to this guy. Because I'm not expecting any any combat. <laughs> Is there a spot I gotta, where I go expecting combat again or not? Uh, I'm going to take the helmet off. And let's, let's, let's uh, drop down to my outfit I like. Oh, my clothes are dirty. Which boots should I wear? Oh, I don't have any boots on, do I? I think the nobleman shoes. Or dark nobleman shoes. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yep, that looks pretty snazzy. I'm digging that look. I'm a little dirty though. I should, I should probably go visit the uh, the wash, the bathhouse. Those ladies have always been good to me. Yeah. Holy crap, they leveled it. That's where that little um, encampment area was. Oh yeah, okay, wow. Yeah, they really did, didn't they? Okay, I wanna go into the tower, or into the, the church first, before I, oh, not sneaking. Before I talk to old boy. <gasps> they got rid of the first ladder. Oh, it was here earlier, I saw it. I saw it. This place is a mess. Yeah. I should have came in here first. Alright, buddy. Let's get to work. Hey. I'm here to talk to you. And not pickpocket. Welcome back. So what tempting. From well, the bailiff read Sir Divish's decree. Mm-hmm. And now I'm officially bailiff of Pribislavitz. Then allow me to congratulate you. What will be your first step? First, you know, I'll um, build some stuff. I'll uh, build, yeah. Hmm. Actually, I'm not quite sure. What would you recommend? As it happens, I already sought a few things in your absence. You might oh, have noticed okay. that the first people have come from Ratai. Yeah, I saw some heading here right away. So when they arrived, I was able to start clearing building plots with them. After they directed some temporary dwellings, that is. I was about to complain. Bullshit, I just rode straight here. And then I remembered that I actually went back to my uh, uh, place at the, the bed at the, the Miller's, Miller Peshik's house, and took a nap. So, no, I guess some people came here straight after they heard there's jobs. Good on them. Good on them. All right, it's time for beer number two. Let's ask this guy some questions. So, where do uh, work? Uh, so we can start building. How do I choose buildings? Where? So we're ready to get things started. Now we're doing the DLC. As long as you know what you want to build, I can show these new people what to do. We'll be building on the sites we've measured out. You can go and look them over first, if you like. I'll do that. That's good beer. I'll see what's going to be built where. Nevertheless, I doubt you'll be able to figure that out just from looking at the sites. I'm a pretty smart guy. I'm educated. Taught myself to read. How do I choose what to build where? I've already given it some thought on your behalf. I even wrote it all down in the accounts ledger. 
Everything will be recorded there. I'll make a note of every change as we proceed. Thanks. That'll be a big help. And where can I find this book? It will always... It's really right... It's literally right beside you. You're not selling the case of you being educated. <laughs> the book is two feet away. I was waiting for him to complain about, oh, can you read? Well, there's nothing here, so we'll have to build everything. Ale house, bakery, butchers, rat house... Did I mention ale house? <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> we need three but of them. be sorry. warned. To begin with, it's always best to start with facilities that will be producing construction materials for everything else. And since we'll mainly be using timber, it makes sense to set up a woodcutter's camp. Yep, sure well, does. Where's it gonna go? Then what? That depends. Every building has its use. You'll soon get the grasp of it. And it's all in the ledger. What about the workers' wages and buying materials for Probably artisans? in the ledger as well. The money must be put in the trunk here. That's the where my money goes. The wages and materials will be taken from it. So you should keep it topped up to prevent delays. It reminds me. Topped. There's the matter of my own pay to be resolved. Ah. Okay. Yes, of course. Sir Divish guaranteed me a fixed income. What's more, this job is an exceptionally big one. I see. But how much are you thinking? I have a record of payment here somewhere. Hmm. Here it is. Let's say one quarter more than that. A quarter? Offer a smaller raise. Offer a generous wage. There we go. All right. He's a good guy. This amount ought to correspond to your work. It seems we understand each other. I agree. Good. I'll put your wages in the trunk, too. Are you sure it's quite safe? <clears throat> quite. Only you and I shall have a key and access to the trunk. Besides, we'll have guards on watch here. Ah, that's reassuring. That's about all to begin with. I snuck past guards and stole details, lots of money. I'll be happy to explain things to you. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? It wouldn't be improvements, it would be outskirts. Yep, there it is. Wood canner, woodcutters camp. We'll need woodcutters to ensure timber supplies. Yeah, we're gonna need the wood. It's impossible. And we need stone. Check what you need in the ledger. Oh my god, dude. I have to put the money in first? Okay, bye. I'd rather not build them. Yeah, we'll just we'll just back out of here. In dialogue. Okay, let me throw money in your chest beside you so we can get started then. After it saves. Don't you dare crash. Don't you dare crash. Don't you dare crash. I should save. I should. Oh, I did recently. Right before I got here, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Um. Where's my money? Should have took the money, tombs. Oh, I should. How did I. Mm, cycle tabs. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that's how you move between those. I do not remember how. Oh, sort. Oh, I'm an idiot. There it is. Move. Oof. Oh, dear Lord. We're going to be here a minute. I am not putting all of my money in this thing. Just hold it down and see if it advances faster. Oh my goodness. <sighs> can we can we make that thing move a little faster? Can we make that move faster, sir? I would like to have been on the other side where I have to advance how much I'm gonna put in. Not start with all. I'm not putting fifty grand in well, fifty grand should be a pretty good one, right? What do you guys think? Fifty grand? We'll have to sit here for an hour. Fifty grand is a lot of money. Let's go with like forty. 
He said keep it topped off. That's just a lot of bunny. Wish you could just grab it and slide it. Yeah, I'm hitting other buttons. Nothing else makes it move. Not even move faster. Mother of God. <laughs> what is going on? Are you upset with how much money I put in here? I thought about 35 grand. That seems good. Oh! We're gonna put exactly 35 grand. I wanna see how they're spending this money. There you go. That's a crap ton of money. There. Now, get to work. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? We'll need woodcutters to ensure timber supplies for building. Very well. Come along with me. So they don't botch anything. All right, let's go. Oh, I, I own a town. I, d I don't have to walk. I have a horse. I'm a knight. Faster, peasant. It's really nice. Nice scenery. Oh, off the trail. Horse, you need to watch what you're doing. Get this horse some driver's license training. Ooh, got stuck on something. All right, do it. We're gonna build here. That's our town. Me. Perfect. Can we begin? Yes. Make it I'm happen. Ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. <sighs> A few days later. Oh, nice. Yeah. Of course, they had to build their own little houses first. That makes sense. Gotta keep my peasants happy. Well, let's get to the ledger. Sir, you just walked through a horse. He's a witch. Kill him. <clears throat> yeah. So, what do we need now? You guard my money. Okay, so let's check the ledger out. All right, we have a crap ton of money. We spent about 2,500 already. Village income, village capacity, good deal. All right, we need stone, grain, charcoal, and livestock. Uh, we are using money. Uh, next page. Ah, there we go. Nice little um, picture of our work so far.
We do need to get that rickety bridge fixed. We do not need that yet, because we need woodcutters. Uh, we could do a rat house. We could. Oh, what was that? Church basic repairs. Oh. We need to build the church first. We need stone. Oh, and basic repairs. We do need basic repairs. So let's do. We need to make some money. So bakers, baker shop, butchers, they all need supplies. So we don't have livestock. We don't have any of that. So, okay. Bridge. Trader needs a bridge and roads. Tavern's not built. There we go. Let's do this one. Build. Marius, there's work to be done. Good choice. Come with me. Okay. We'll get the traders up and running. We'll get uh, basic repairs on the church. We'll do the rat house. That'll be a good one. Yeah. Oh. And then we need to start getting supplies for everybody else to get the other um, essentials. Sounds good. We're going to build here? Indeed. Can we begin? Yeah, Already? make it happen, buddy. Make it happen. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. We do. I'll take your We've money. Got what we need. Let's get to work. Right. A few days later. Oh, that's a proper bridge. Nice. You did that in a couple days? Not bad at all. Not bad. I like how you build a bridge and it already has uh, watermarks on it. Ooh. Horse, let's go. Where are you? Oh. Yeah. Trader. We need a trader. We have plenty of money. Oh, that very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Forge, bakery, butcher, stables, guardhouse, trader. Not built. Let's do it. Make that happen. Marius, there's work to be done. You've decided. Yes. Yeah, cool. well, ooh, there we go. Let's get building. Yeah, let's get building. Hope you guys are still watching, because we're actually building stuff now. We'll build as much as I can before I have to leave and to go uh, get resources. It looks like we can get repairs done and a rat house done. Uh, or basically a city hall done before I have to go get grain and things so I think I'm gonna try to pull that off this is right here oh we're gonna put it right here okay all right not bad we're gonna build here indeed can we begin yeah Already? make it happen I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've got what we need. Let's get to work. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. I like that. Yeah, it really changes things. It's hard to believe. You take... 
any major city in the world right now, and it just used to be wilderness. Level it, cut the trees down, start putting buildings up, and it becomes a town. Very nice. Okay. Um, oh, I don't want to sneak. Let's talk to this guy. What are we gonna do? Rat house? Yeah. I want to build something. Certainly. I'd like to build the rat house. Let's go to the site. I'll see to the building. <laughs> ah, I saw it! That's the first time I've spotted it. Usually they make that thing pop um, pop up behind you. I saw you teleport. There's no magic in this world. Bullshit. I just saw a horse pop out of... I thought the rat house... Okay. Alright. Yeah. I was about to say, I thought the rat house was going to be up on the hill beside the church. Basically close to where the ledger is. You are taking the weirdest route, sir. We're gonna build here? Right here. Ready to start? God save you, Henry. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in then. A few days later, here we go. Oh, nice. Looking pretty decent. That's better than a tent. That was just a tent. Now it is um, a city center. Look at this. That looked pretty good. That looked pretty good. <clears throat> Oh, this is nice. And it is, it is right where the little thing, oh, does it put the ledger inside now? Let's go look. This is a basic one, which means it'll advance. Yeah, there it is, and there's the money thing. How are we looking on that, by the way? 18 grand, oh my god! Oh, it has, we have spent so much money. Woo! I want to keep it like 10 grand on me, you know? In case I need to make repairs. And then we're going to have to go murder people. We need money. You, I'm only going to put like 10 grand in here. How's that sound? 32, 31, 30. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. Mm, let's put 15 in. Let's put 15. Oh, you bastard, you. I'm putting even numbers because these things cost even amounts. And if money starts disappearing, I'll recognize it. There we go. Thirty-three grand in there now. You guys are killing me. 
I hope we're making money soon. Basic structure. Overpaid labor. Oh. Dad, that cost nine grand. Okay. Oh, that's no, that's the extended red house is going to cost nine grand. Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. Church basic repairs are 11,000. <sighs> and it's not going to make us any money. We got to we got to find ways to make money first. Yeah, we got to find ways to make money cuz these things cost money, but they make us money. So it looks like for the butcher, I need livestock. I need grain for that, and I need charcoal for that. Okay, so we need to go get those resources. Stable. Yep, have to have those two already. So let's go do those. Tavern not built. I need stone. Okay. Beehive costs money too. <laughs> Laborers camp. Okay. Well, let's go get resources. I'm not rebuilding that yet. I need to make money. Um Do I have a quest for this? Supplies. There it is. Supplies. Townberg stone. Who else do we have? Uh, info. There's only one place I can get stone from. That's Talmberg. Okay. There's grain in three different places. Charcoal in four different places. And livestock in three different places. Oh, hi, lady. Come on in. I'm doing a live stream. You got some juice? What kind is it? Is it apple juice? You're whispering. You can't even remember? Let's go get the stone. Oh, look. Chickens, Kaylee. I got chickens. Yep, I got chickens. I also have a horse. He's around here somewhere. It's pickle juice. Wait, you're drinking pickle juice? I know you like pickles, but I could not imagine that you'd be drinking pickle juice. It's so good. Oh. I can't even see it. Uh-huh. It's, it's very green. clear. Yeah, but it's, it's green, green in the green cup. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Now, like, it's my four-year-old here. See it, but when I move it, I can't because I see it moving. Yeah. Yeah. My grandmother used to do that. Mm. <laughs> my grandmother used to drink um, pickle juice. I. Oh, you want to sit with me? All right, we're playing this game, the the medieval game. Remember this one? You don't remember it? It's where we sword fight and stuff. Um, you don't remember? But you can show me. Oh, I can. Well, thanks for letting me. Uh, it's great. I never want to do it again. You're a crazy girl. I, I want to drink more again. I'm just gonna buy you some more pickles then, because I don't need you drinking all the pickle juice. <laughs> Can't believe you're drinking pickle juice. And it's too tasty. Oh, I'm good. Thank you though. I like pickles. I don't want to drink pickle juice. Uh -huh. That's it's busy. You're drinking salt and vinegar, lady. I know, and no why it's so good. Why is it so good? Cause no sugar and no sugar in it. No, there's no sugar in that. I don't believe there's any sugar in that. That's sodium, salt, not sugar, salt. Why is it so good? Because you like salt? Is that what you're going to say next? What are you going to say? I love salt and there's salt in it. I knew you were going to say that. I knew it. All right. Well, go drink your pickle, uh, pickle juice. So, uh, go, go, go. Get it out of my face. <laughs> oh. Shut the door. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. That was, that was a, that was a fake burp. A pickle burp? That was a fake pickle burp. You know that.
Okay, that quest is not actually selected. Did I unselect it by mistake? I think I did. I think, yeah, that's exactly what I had done. All right, so we also need to unselect that. I do not care about that. I do like orange juice. <laughs> what? I do. I like orange juice. I do. I do like water. It, it happens to keep me alive. Do I like milk? It's okay. I think I drink it when I was a kid. I'm not a big fan of milk now. Do you like milk? Okay. Like I think I, I drink the most amount of milk when I'm actually having coffee. I think I put a little bit in there. That's it. And I'll drink milk with, I mean, I'll drink milk. I'll drink coffee with just sugar. I don't need to actually have any creamer of any kind. But that's about the only time I drink milk. All right, let's find some stone. Where's the stone dude? Stone Mason man, Mr. Stone. Uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, are you here? Oh, it's the wrong rock. Is it? Is it Chris? Is it Kid? Is it Kid Rock? Well, guess what? I found him. Hey, we need to talk, Rupert. I'm honored that you should come to me. While I'm in line to eat food. If you'd wait a minute, just a tick, I'd be eating right now. But no. I'm here at the behest of Sir Divis. I'm looking for the overseer of this quarry. Would that be you, Goodman? You know this. Right. That's me. We've talked to this guy what like so many I do times. For you? Sir Divis has decided to rebuild Privis Labit, and he's entrusted me to take charge, along with his locator. Aha, uh -huh. so it's you. I heard about Sir Divish's plans. What is it you need, then? Well, we've started with the reconstruction work, but we need more than just timber. You need stone for the construction? Exactly. And for repairing the church. Well, now, you're really not doing things by halves, are you? The thing is, though, we're already working flat out supplying stone for the monastery construction in Sassau. I can't cut back on their supplies. So Divish wouldn't be at all pleased. But I really need that stone. Well, yeah, I, I need a cheap stone. Try and hire a few more quarrymen to increase production, but we can't transport it. Even Sassau sends their own wagon here. Have I got a dude. Someone to carry the stone? I hope. <laughs> I've got my own merchant. Yes, I I'll have a merchant. With his hired hands. Splendid. Good thing I so put the merchant shop up. let's talk about the price. Uh, holy shit, dude. The stone is for Sir Divish. It's for a village he wants to rebuild as quickly as possible. I doubt he'd take it well that the overseer of his own quarry... I'm glad I didn't put all the money in there. I'd have none, none on me. You have a point. So don't do that. Don't put all the money in the, in the thing. Don't put all the money you have in there. You'll need it to go buy stuff. <sighs> Pay less? I want an even lower price. That's better. Excellent. Damn. We'll start sending three grand. As as I don't think I bought gets. anything that cost three grand in this game before. See you later. All right. Well, he's getting his Jesus. food. Jesus yeah. Christ! Isn't that uh, isn't that uh, Colin Lord's name in vain to you guys? Isn't that like serious? That's a crime. Okay. So let's look at the map. We need livestock. What's this one? Just uh, yep, that's what I thought. Oh, Ginger's coal burning friends. You know, Ginger's guys might actually give me a deal because I saved Ginger's ass. I did. They might actually give me a good deal. Oh, are you really gonna go route that way? Or what's up here? Grain from Ujits. There's a lot of fields up here. They should Ujits should have some. There's not as many fields down to the south. Hmm. There's some down here. What's this? Charcoal. Oh. And what can we get here? Livestock. I bet Rete livestock is going to be expensive. What is this? Rete charcoal. Hmm. I think I should go with the charcoal from... Oh, got a comment. 
Yeah, buddy. That's what I heard. I heard that uh, when they put it on hardcore mode, you don't get nearly as much money for anything you sell. I ended up starting this uh, game out with like 70-something grand. But the way it's looking, I'm going to burn through that in no time. I'm going to have to go murder people for money. Or, or, um, or dance. I could dance for money. That's probably a thing. Yeah, let's try Ujits. Let's go up there. We'll, uh, we'll have to Ujits. They seem to have a lot of fields. Maybe they'll have uh, grain in excess and it'll be cheaper. Um, how do you like playing it on hard mode? Is, uh, is the combat noticeably more difficult? I'm just curious because I wasn't sure if they actually just take away some of the, the cues that they give you in normal mode or if they straight up make the enemies just better at attacking. I might have to do a playthrough in hard mode. I wish I had more money. I want to burn through building this place as quick as possible. I mean, without any side quests to really do anymore. I have to... The only way I can get money is to just randomly go back and forth. There's a couple of bandit encampments that they repopulate, and they have decent gear. And so selling their gear is about the only way I'm going to be able to afford... Okay, where are we going? Today I have a fight with the leader. On black armor. Holy crap, really? A 20 minute fight? That sounds really cool. Like, that's, that's one of those things that's not, maybe not as interesting to watch uh, for an audience, but definitely for the person doing the participation of it it's it's like adrenaline pumping the whole time you make one mistake you could be in real serious trouble but you're just constantly fighting this guy yeah that could be fun i could see that let's look at the map oh it's behind me okay there we go uh ujit's crane is right over there uh, you know, I'm hoping, the reason why I mentioned um, going to, to see uh, Ginger's Charcoal Burner friends is because I'm hoping that things I did, choices I made during the, the main quest, affect who's cheaper or if I can get a good deal. I hope that's a thing, because that would be awesome. This is a scribe. What could I possibly want from the scribe? This is where I learned to read. Oh, I can I, I didn't learn to walk here though. It's the bailiff. Alright, let's see what he has to say. God almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? Okay, I'm dirty, I got it. I'd like to buy some grain. Grain? What do you want grain for? I'm responsible for the rebuilding of Privis Labits. Hmm. I heard some talk about that. I suppose I can sell you part of the crop. How many bushels do you want? I'll need fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. That's quite a lot. Yeah. It won't be cheap. Well, even though it's for Sir Divish's village. Aye. Unless he sets the allocations himself, I have to make up for any differences in supplies. And you'll have to pay for that. Have you got someone to transport it? Or are you going to haul it there yourself? I've got a merchant to take care of it. Fair enough. Here's my offer. 160 for grain? Hundred and sixty for grain. I wonder if Sassal would be cheaper. Oh, I see your comment. Yeah, um Hardest is finding your way without heaven signs yeah you see the thing is i've played the the, the base game long enough unless it's, it's unless it's nighttime if it's daytime i can i can navigate this world i can figure out where i'm at that's not a problem it probably doesn't help that i've had a little bit of land nav when i was in the army 
it's real easy to read a map and if I know where I'm starting and I know where that place is on the map as long as I just don't get lost on the way I'm good and even then you know you're gonna have to look for things like um, buildings landmarks anything like that I mean it won't be mountains and things not so much here but windmills rivers rivers are probably useful any kind of structures whatsoever some of these towns I know exactly what they look like oh, 160 in a forest uh, it okay yeah I bet no I get you yeah I could see that in some of the deep forests it's like you could, you could I get you going into them doing some stuff and then getting lost and then when you get out, trying to figure out where, how far off you are. I've done that as a kid. I used to, uh, I live in a, a rural area as a child, and uh, I like to go exploring out through the woods, and I would end up in other people's farmland after coming out of a forest. Uh, I'd spend two or three hours traveling in one direction and come out like two miles away from my house. So I knew I made some big circles. Yeah, it's, that's realistic. I, see, the thing is, everyone thinks about uh, the combat. Oh, is that going to mean it's more... more it's the first thing I thought of was how, how tough is it going to be to fight dudes. But uh, I just brushed off navigation. It sounds like navigation is probably more serious. I think I'll try my luck elsewhere. No skin off my nose. This guy was kind of a dick anyway. Yeah, good luck then. Hey, watch it. Whoa, you teleported you. inside me. You, you, you. Aw. Oh, these NPCs, they anger me. Alright, I'd say we head to Sasau. Check out their deal. It was 160 at this place. We'll, we'll, um, we'll check out Sasau. See what their grain's like. And then we can get washed up. Uh, but fights are fun. The enemy block a lot and counter you. Yeah, I run into that right now. Like they, even now they counter and block a lot. But uh, I bet they block almost everything. Uh, let's see. Could I? Is that gonna take me anywhere near? Because I get charcoal on the way. That actually does go by there. It does go by there. Let's go there. Timing combos and counter. Yeah, one of these days I'll try it out. I bet this part, this DLC is a lot harder if you play on um, on that difficulty. Just because of the cash. Oh, I'm getting low on energy and nourishment. I should probably eat. I just want to see this town develop, you know? It's pretty cool. There's a couple other DLCs coming out. Um... I know there's one that, that uh, is all about Lord Capon. And then there's another one where you, it uh, the main protagonist is a female, so you get to see what a woman's life was like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's going to suck. I mean, it's going to be a good DLC. This game's good. As long as they don't have too many bugs, it's going to be great. But I bet it's just not going to be super exciting to be a lady in this time frame this time period. Alright, you know, maybe you uh, dress up as a man and go out and fight people. Have to hide your identity. I have no idea. You could be just making food all day. We made it all the way here, didn't we? Alright, so let's set a marker. What is that? Activity giver. Okay, it's probably somebody wants me to shoot things. All right, we're going to set it th there, and we need to eat. There we go. Yeah. Well, yeah, man. Thanks for the heads up. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to take a look at it. Oh, and look at where I'm going. Um, yeah. There wasn't a hardcore mode when I first started playing, and I'd actually finished the campaign yeah. before they added that in. 
<laughs> I tell you what, picking this game up early was rough. Uh, there was a there was a two week period where I stopped playing, not because I didn't want to play, but because of uh, game breaking bugs prevented me from doing it. I found uh, some workarounds um, involving the save issue where it wouldn't save game. I couldn't get any more saves. Come to find out it's a mixture of things between the game being a prob having problems and with um, Sony setting the number of saves you can have for a game at a, a value and uh, I can't remember how many it was but it was a number I had already hit. And the game did not warn you that we were getting close to that and it would not make any new saves. That was one of the issues. And that's the only reason I was able to finish it. Oh, we're here. That's what I thought. Okay, who do I talk to? It's E. So it's probably you. Yep, it is you. I'm honored that you should come to me. You're in charge, so of course I'm going to come to you. From you. Of course, Henry. Anything for you. It might be more than you think. How much charcoal could you possibly need? You know where it gives bags. the best armor and weapons. On a regular basis. Hold on, I'll tell you. Haven't you noticed winter is over? There's a new forge in Privis Lavis. And I need to supply it with charcoal, seeing as how I'm the bailiff. Bailiff, eh? Well, I never. Congratulations. Oh, it's not a bed of roses, but thanks. All right. But we can't let you have that amount for nothing, even if you did help us with ginger. Okay. Don't worry. They I didn't mention ginger. That. How are you going to haul the charcoal? I got a guy. I've got a merchant of my own. Yep. He'll come here regularly with a wagon to pick it up. You just have to load it for him. As you wish. About the price. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Okay, it's 180. <laughs> um. See, now I want to go see the other ones, but I don't want to be riding around all day. 180 for charcoal seems high, but I'm. I'm about to pick it, just because these guys, these guys said, you know, I helped out Ginger, so they would probably give me a deal. Let's see what happens if I say that's too much. That's a bit much. There ain't much I can do about it. You won't get it cheaper anywhere else. That's what charcoal costs these days. Come back if you change your mind. I think we'll do it. Okay, to answer your question about... Uh, you know where to give uh, where gives the best armor and weapons. Uh, from what I've noticed, the game seems to give you um, better armor and weapons as you level up. So as you get, well, I think it maybe related to money actually, but um, yeah, because imagine like when I first started playing the game, I did not see high end plate mail on the the vendors, but I started seeing it when I was starting to loot it. And so I think it has to do with that. So as you make more money and have more income, also it could be related to skill. I could be completely wrong here. It could be uh, uh, related to your character's actual rank and in the weapons. But that's not what I was. I was seeing it was related to money. And if that's true, uh, then if you've got good money and you're looking to find it in the world, not on a merchant, and you already see the stuff on merchants, then you can see about the same stuff off of high-end bandits. If you're doing those bandit camp missions where you can turn in the um, ears or um, the spurs for, for cash, like the bounties, those, the high-end ones dropped the best armor that I found in the game outside of a couple very last-end missions. And it was really hard to uh, actually loot while fighting in those big battles at the end, but there were a couple guys at the end that had pretty decent armor on them. I wish I'd grabbed more of it now. But I was also live streaming some of that, and when you live stream, you really don't want to just sit here looking at Henry's face for two hours. Still got charcoal for sale. But you also don't want to look at someone's inventory in the middle of a battle. Like, if people are going to watch it because charcoal. there's a battle going on, and they want to see me fighting. Not going through some guy's inventory, managing up. my inventory for 20 for minutes. So, that was the reason why I left a lot of that. About the price... If you ride, if you're good at combat and you're you're confident in your abilities, you could ride back and forth across areas you know where there's going to be action. Uh, now there are some chests that have specific known gear in them from those uh, 
maps, the the treasure maps, and it does not matter what level you are, how early in the game it is. If you're able to find one of those treasure maps, and, and or even if you find the location, you don't even have to have the map. That treasure chest is there. But if it's locked and your skill, if your skill doesn't allow you to get into it, then you're you're going to be you know, sucking. But if you can get into those, there's some really nice high end gear there. You could get really early on. The problem would be that you just wouldn't be able to repair it if you don't have money. So if you're making good money, then you can re you can actually pay for repairs. Or if you have repair kits because you've worked on the skill and you've got it high enough, you can actually work on that stuff. So I would say where where drops the best armor and weapons, um, the high end bandit en encounters and. Deal. All right. We'll send the first load as soon as your wagon gets yeah, here. Yeah, pretty much it. The, the high-end bandit, bandit encounters and the treasure maps. All right, so we got charcoal. Satisfied with that. So now we need livestock, grain, and that's it, I believe. We have stone. So we need livestock and grain. And we didn't buy grain from Uzits. Uzits. Because I thought I wanted to check the, what it would be down here. Sasau has grain and Sasau has um, livestock. But there's also grain here in Salma, Samapesh. Salma, Samapesh. Uh, I'd actually like to try that out. What's Lomechko? It's going to be pro Lodechko. Sorry, uh, probably livestock. Yep, that's what I thought. There, I always, always. The reason why I, I knew it was going to be livestock is there aren't a lot of fields around it. There is a little right here, but but I always ride through there, and there's just random pigs just walking around in the streets. They 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 really have a lot of animals. Um, that's pretty uh, pretty far away, isn't it? It really is. I think we should hit some of Pesh up for their grain. Uh, it might be cheap, and I think I helped them out with something. That's not the place that had no. It was Marinhold or whatever it was that had the problem with uh, people being sick. So I'm just looking for places that I might have helped them out, so they might be willing to give me a discount. But we're going to go here. I'm getting a little tired, but I'm good on food. Damn side, I hope that helps you out, man. I hope that helps you out. If you get your lock pick up enough, you can just steal stuff. That's another way to do it. You gotta be real sneaky, and you sneak into um, armor smith or weapon smith's houses or their shops. And uh, there's a chest in there that has a lot of gear. I had to go into one of them to steal a piece of a blade to make a sword. So he didn't want to sell it, so I snuck in there and, and stole it, and all of his stuff on his. Oh, <gasps> that's a way I can make more money. Ooh. Yeah, I think I know how to make some money, but. If I need money to build this town, I'm going to be robbing people. That's how it's going to be. Because it's the fastest way. I know where I can go and pick some locks. I'll have to let that stuff sit, though. I should probably get started on that. Because it's going to take time. It's real expensive stuff. It takes longer to uh, to lose the, the little red hand logo. That means that it's stolen. And it's nighttime, isn't it? I got here at nighttime. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I need to get a torch out, don't I? Jesus. Looking for someone? Yeah, I'm looking for this guy over here in his house. Oh, 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 oh. Henry, you? I'm glad you came. Innkeeper, do you have do you I'm have a yeah, green? The shop, and after I find some good thing on a bandit. Hey, man, yeah, if you can, that works. 
This is not the guy I need to talk to. Good luck, then. Yeah, give me a minute. Oh, it's you? The bailiff. Here we are. Oh, not her. I think I clicked her. Goodbye. Alright, bailiff. Come on. Come on, get out of the way, lady. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, whatever Progress. you see on in a shop, you might be able to find the same or slightly better on dudes you kill. But you're looking for the higher-end bandits, not those... I mean, you're, I can still... Like, I just earlier today, I ran into some thugs who were wearing clothing. And had, like, a, a falchion, and that was it. And then lots of booze. Uh, those guys aren't going to make me any money. But there's a corner up uh, north of Sasau, and then um, there's like a old house that's burned out there. Behind there is a, a um, treasure chest buried. So if you've gotten that treasure chest, you know what I'm talking about. If you ride through there, like you're going from Sasau to Ravinia or whatever the place is called, you'll run. You a lot of times you'll run or back by you know either way, going either way. You'll run into uh, an, a, a fight between uh, guards and um, bandits, and those guys can get you some money, a lot of gear. Have you got any grain to sell? You want it for yourself? No, it's not for me. It's for the villagers in Privislavitz. They need regular supplies. And what have you got to do with that? Sir Divish put me in charge. He put you in charge of hauling grain? No, he, um... Oh, look, it doesn't matter. Can we buy from you? <sighs> it's all the same to me. I can let you have some of the crop. How much do you need? Well, I'll need uh, fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. My word. You must be a trustworthy wagoner if his lordship trusts you with a deal like that. Yeah, that's me. How are you going to haul it from here? <laughs> this guy I've arranged would not be able to handle me telling him that I'm in charge of the city. I don't mind sending you part of our crop, but it'll cost something. Eighty? The last guy I talked to, it was like 160. This is half the cost. This is half the cost. Hell yeah, I'm gonna shop around some more. Okay, yeah, I I know this place. Yeah. I w I'd go through there all the time. I'll show you on a map, if, you know, just to make sure we both un agree about uh, what That's this place is. Oh, we need livestock. That's all we need. Shake. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day. Yeah, please. All right, here, let me look, open up the map. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Boop, boop, boop. Right here, right here. Okay. Let's try to center it. Right here. If you can pass through going either north through this way back down through this way this is the spot where you'll run into some bandits that have pretty decent gear now you could also farm bandit encampments and there's one right I'll put a marker for you and I'm this is trying to guess but I think it's right about here there's a bandit encampment right on this side of the the river um, I remember going too far this way and having to cut past the boar and so, yeah, it's it's right in this area. Those guys were always high level. Uh, there's another one, too, up near Scallets. Now, I don't remember it exactly, but there was one... Oof. I think it's in these hills. There's a bandit encampment up here, and these were high level guys, too. They all had plate. You gotta watch out for the guys with the maces, of course, if you're wearing plate. Yeah, nice. I don't know if they're showing, but there's uh, there was definitely I can't remember what was in this one, but there, you can see some of the places I found the the graves uh, where there was treasure. I think this one might have been here. But anyway, if you know about that one, that's a good one. Um, hmm. There was another hunting area, and I can't know. I cannot remember where it was at. When I first started playing the game, I did not know about the 
uh, random encounters. I was over here doing a, a job by the uh, oh, what's, I kept thinking butcher. <laughs> Close. Executioner. And I walked up here and I saw some guys coming down the street and they were all those um, the, the main villain dudes. The, the Hungarians, Hessians or whatever they were. And they murdered me. And I had to reload. But I haven't gone through here at all. There's only one quest or two quests has even taken me up here. Uh, that could be a place, but I wouldn't guarantee it. I know there's a quest or two that uh, that you could, where people try to ambush you. Um, what's another one? Another one's over here. There's a site over here that has bandits. Because you had to do a quest about a bird or a bunch of birds. You had to catch some birds over here, I believe it was. There's some, um, yep, like south of here is a bandit encampment right about there. And those guys are, are, are going to have some gear, too. All right, we got Ledechko or Sasau. I feel like Sasau is going to be expensive. We could head to, to Ledechko. What's my character look like? Oh, tired. Well, that'll keep me running, but I'm going to be exhausted. Let's unequip that weapon and equip something else. Just because I'm going to be dealing with people. <clears throat> Let's go to Ledechko. There's three places I could hit. Actually, it might be faster to head to Sasau. I can at least get cleaned up and get some sleep. It's going to be dawn by the time I get there. How long has this stream been going for? Oh, wrong button. That's good, yes. And a lot of these camps, you can do that. You could also sneak up and put something in their food. That'll help lower their hit points. If you can get a hold of that really nice, um, I forgot what it's called, uh, poison. It's a bane or something. It's a really good <laughs> deadly poison. It's 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 uh, It'll kill them straight out, right? But uh, the other weaker poisons just take their hit, po hit points and have them. But yeah, sneaking up and murdering them is a good idea. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're in Sasau. Oh, I have a house here. That's right. I just remembered I bought the uh, inn room. So it is mine. Yeah. Yeah, this is not the right path. I should have you know, left at Albuquerque. Yeah. I'm even navigating pretty good in these cities at night. Right up here. Yep, across the bridge. That's where I need to go to get to the inn. Yeah. And then right about here. Yeah. What's up, lady? You want your sodas? You can have one. They look like zombies. You don't need all of your sodas for a picnic. You need one. I need two. 
Okay, two. I'm okay with two. Where are you guys picnicking at? You should picnic outside. It's a wonderful day. I say that as I'm playing a video game. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> are you hearing this? Oh, I'm so sorry. You should. Yeah, I remember that. What does that have to do with inside? Couldn't you do that outside? No, because he wants to play. He wants to play. But a picnic's where you go lay a little blanket out, and you bring some food, and you go sit outside, and you and you have, you know, a meal. In nature, what? Listening. Oh, mom told you this. Okay. Your tent? And sleep outside for the night. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You gotta make sure you zip that thing up, right? Yeah. So the snakes don't get in and hug you and give you, give you kisses. <laughs> Uh, no, because I have to go to work tomorrow. But what about this weekend? Ooh. And I'm awake. Go talk to mom about it. See if she's okay with doing it this weekend. Yeah. Ta-ta. Oh, ta-ta. So that was my four-year-old. Making plans to go sleep in a tent in the backyard. Sounds about right. Yeah. All right, it's time to get demonetized. Let's go visit the ladies over at the bathhouse. Uh oh, she came back. She's already talked to mom. What did mom say? Good health to you, Henry. Uh, I can't tell. I just put these down. She said I can't have them because she didn't want them on the floor. Mm -hmm. But I needed them on the floor because... Maybe you should explain what you're trying to do. Go explain to her that it's a, uh, uh, picnic. picnic, yeah. I told her. What'd she say? She didn't. Then you gotta be louder. Go. Bathhouse services. I'm interested in your, uh, services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? I know. I love my daughter. She's, she's amazing. <sighs> To have a bath in my yep. Yeah, how about everything that goes with it? Oh, a haircut, a shave. This is new. What? Okay, we're gonna go with uh, winch and everything that goes with it. Time to get demonetized. I'd like um, a private bath for two. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Good luck. Ted. How's it going, meme bot? Oh. oh. Good time to join, meme bot. Oh. Oh. I uh, I'm getting my um clothing washed and my armor polished. Uh, since you just yeah, I know, right? So I just joined. Uh, I mean, since you just joined, I um. I'm out gathering uh, supplies. I'm on the last thing I need to get to head back to my town and build uh, some new shops. Uh, we just built a city hall, uh, a shop for a trader, and a new bridge and a road. So it's pretty good. As soon as this thing loads. Okay, please don't crash. Please don't crash. Woohoo! It didn't crash. 
And, uh, my armor's clean. Look at that. Those ladies took good care of me. Yeah, they did. My charisma's so high. Whew. Right? Multiplayer would be great. I actually uh, would love to see VR a uh, version of it. But after playing PSVR, I understand that right now, so, uh, the hardware limitations, uh, it just would not run as, as high a fidelity as it does right now if it was VR. I, I played VR Skyrim, and it's loads of fun. But the graphics just aren't as great. They have to lower the, the, um, the graphics a little bit just to be able to process all that in 3D. Uh, this game right here would look great in VR. I would love to play it at night and be able to swivel my head holding a torch. Oh yeah, that'd be great. I know they had a low budget, but what they've done is amazing. That has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the PS, the PlayStation, and the VR. It has nothing to do with this game. It's just if you tried to port this game into VR, it would run at like 10 frames per second. Alright, so who do we need to see? We need to see someone here in town. Let's look at the map. They did an amazing job with the budget they were given. Uh, I, I am absolutely impressed. Always have been, ever since I started playing this game. Uh, livestock, let's go see this guy. Let's go see how much he wants for livestock. We need livestock for a new town. Right? Well, they have some new um, DLCs coming out. There's a couple more. Uh, one involving Lord Capon. And another one uh, where you get to be um, a lady. That's all I know. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm going to cut in front of you with my horse. I think I have to go down here. I'm just getting lost in this town. It's that building. What would you like to see the game have in it next? Just a straight up expansion? New area? Oh, I play on Xbox One. X, so no DLC for me. They don't have a... This DLC is only PC and P, a PS3, uh, PS4? Are you serious? Because I'm an Xbox guy. I started on Xbox. The only reason that... Uh, I'm playing right now on the PlayStations because I picked up one a couple years ago and uh, to try out the VR stuff and then um, I started playing games with my son after he moved out a full, tra a full transition to realistic mods I'd like to see some mod uh, implementation uh, the the mod community they have for PC is ridiculous the things I've seen them do for Skyrim I would love to see what they could do uh, for this game and I'm sure there are plenty I just don't want to go look because I don't have this game on PC and so I would just be upset oh you're the guy hey hey buddy I saw your icon move uh, mr. ham fist uh, I need to reckon to you come here God save you what can I do for you yeah uh, I want to buy livestock. Yes. I'm trying to get livestock for Privis Lavis. Could you help me out? Certainly. How are the folk there getting on? Yeah, we're doing all right. Well, you got some stickers, kid? To hear it. Yeah, bring him here. There's a friend of mine yeah. there. Jonah. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Him? Shh. Mm, sorry, can't say I do. Okay. I don't know everyone yet. I got it. Andy fella, always making something. So He's good at making baskets. Mm, sorry, <gasps> I really don't know him. Ah, well. It's not important. You sure don't have it easy. But then again, it'll be an adventure. I was thinking about it myself. About going there too, you know. But my place is here. Well, uh... Soldiers, what yeah. What was it you wanted again? I want you to supply <laughs> livestock. <laughs> this guy just forgot about the livestock. Of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and livestock. i take it there for you. I've I got, got a guy. to take care of it. Yep. Good. I'll be expecting him. So, here's my price. I know it's a bit on the dear side, but you'll get lean, tender meat from them. Fit for a royalty system. Mm. 50? That is cheap. 
I'm about to take this deal. You know what's funny is, I was surprised um, they added this one. Um, this is not bad. Uh, I'm building it of the town right now, and so I'm out gathering some resources. I'm about to go back and actually build some more stuff, but it takes a lot of money. Um, this is something I, I could definitely see. Like if, if you if you had told me uh, the and they, before I knew about this DLC coming out, there that, that you'd like to see them add a system where you can rebuild scallops or you know some sort of base building kind of thing where you could build up. That would be great. I would be like, yeah, sure, that sounds like it would fit. Uh, this definitely does fit, and I I like it. That's it's a good. good price. I'll buy it. Well, there's that one. Um, on what's her name? If you run into Jonah, give him my regards. I will. The lady of uh, Talm Talmberg. Yeah, she was a big fan. And uh, her husband's getting a little old. You know, he could pass away at any minute. And, she, and the lady wouldn't have anybody to help her take care of the place. I only see that because I had that quest where I romanced her. Yeah, well, see, I, I actually, before I started the stream, right at the beginning of my stream, I actually threw all the stolen stuff I had and in the uh, uh, Miller Peshix uh, box, the little crate I have there. Um, but I'm looking at it now going, uh, where can I go to get the best high-end gear? Because I'm going to be needing to sell it. I'm actually thinking about robbing some of the um, uh, merchants here. And this is a good city for it, too. Um Right down the road has uh, an armor smith, um, that, and I don't, really, I wouldn't steal from the weapon smith. He helped me make a sword, but that armor smith down the road, that guy right there, he has a whole house beside that actual building, the uh, where his shop is, and and that house is filled with these um, hard locks and very hard locks, and I've actually picked a few of them. There's nothing but gear in there, and it's high end stuff. It's all the stuff off of his vendor. I think we're good now. Um, on resources, we got livestock, we got grain, we got charcoal, we got everything. It's time to head back to Privislavitz and change its name. <laughs> eight lock, eight lock picks. Man, uh, there was that, that quest here at Privis Lovitz, uh, when you're playing the storyline, when you sneak up there to, to view the place ahead of time, if you can uh, kill people silently, though, uh, I killed uh, 20 or 30 people at that at Privis Lovitz before the big raid. The day before, I didn't expect there to be anybody there for the actual raid. Uh, remember, stickers, that's perfect for stickers, not Dad's back. So get get the sticker off Dad's back and put it on the little mini fridge. Come on! I'm here because I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. Now get the sticker off my back. Oh, you woman. Anyway, Privis Lovitz is a great place to pick up lockpicks. I picked up probably 50 lockpicks uh, that day before the battle thing by sneaking up, killing people, and they had lockpicks on them. They'd have one or two or 12, and I just kept killing as many people as I could, sneaking around and murdering them, or just straight up engaging them in combat. Oh, um, that slowed down slowed down for engagement. Oh, crap. Here we go. Here we go. It's a hold up. Please load before they attack me. That would be awesome. Okay. Okay, we're going to fight a couple guys and I don't have my gear on. Do I? I just realized that. Looks good. Oh, and I'm going to have to dirty up my sword again. Here we go. <clears throat> hey, boys. Hey, guys. What have we got here? Entertainment. Okay, 
that's one. No, 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 gentlemen. Not cool, not cool. No ganging up on people. I'm so bad at this fighting thing. You know how this sword? I mean horse? Damn it. Chopped him in the butt. Alright. I haven't seen those guys in a while. Oh, we got another one. No, 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 no. You don't you don't get to do that. Yeah, what he said, buddy. I know, I have so much armor. That's what saved my butt, because I suck. I gotta work on my skills. All right, let's look and see what I got here. Uh, the male coif, I could probably repair. The repair is gonna cost probably 200 to get 300 out of it. Uh, leather gloves are usually pretty easy to, to sell. I don't see really much on this guy I would keep. I mean, I know these are lightweight. Those are especially lightweight. So I'll grab those. But I'm going to leave the, the coif because it's uh, it's in bad shape. That's ah, a spiked mace. How about you? You were one of the first ones to go down. What do you got? Nothing good. That's the problem. I can fix swords. I will always take a sword. I can fix a sword all the way back to 100 for free. So I'll take a sword. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this guy had a couple things on him. But he got beat up so bad. <laughs> I'm going to take a couple of these things. Because they're worth some money. I need the money now that I am building a town. Anybody else have a sword on them? No? You guys suck. <laughs> this guy's all folded up. <laughs> I'll take that one. Oh, that's a cool helmet. That's an uh, ornamented one. Yeah. Oh, lockpick. I'll take that lockpick, sir. Is your bacon good? It is good. We're taking your bacon. Okay, you're not putting another sticker on my back, are you, kid? I'm not. Oh, okay. <sighs> my daughter is putting stickers on my back. This is perfect. Just one. Just one? Oh, okay. All right, well, let me... Okay. Let me see what this guy's saying. Sell him. Sandwich. Haunted. What, babe? You put another sticker <laughs> on my back? You sneaky little girl. I put, I, put a, I put a bunny on it. I told you, you can put stickers on the mini fridge. Just decorate the mini fridge. Decorate it up. I did, I did not for that. Well, yeah, but I, you shouldn't be putting any on my back. Kids. Move to horse. Move to horse. Okay, I got some Okay, what about the ones on my back? You gonna get those off? Yep. Move to horse. One and one more. 
Move to horse. They're both gone. Okay. Alright, we'll just do that quietly. Piercer, oh yeah. Alright, uh -huh. looks good. <laughs> That's my daughter. She's she's four. She's about to turn five. And one more week. One more week. Yes, one more week. They do act like little monsters sometimes, but uh, when the kids are your own, usually, usually, you don't see them as monsters. You see them as adorable little balls of tickle. You keep decorating that up, it looks great. And I will be in a school age room! I know, you're gonna be a school ager. You're gonna be in a school age room, yep. I love being in a school age room. You won't actually spend that much time at daycare because you're gonna be in school. Yeah. yeah. Oh, attack on the road! Alright, let's see if I can do better with my attacks this time because I'm absolutely horrible. I'm also a little rusty. I was a little bit better, you know, when I first started playing. You fucking stinking cumin. I'll fucking cumin. show you. Do I even look like a you. cumin? Okay, that was... Let's let's block. Let's just learn to block. Okay, let's, let's not do that again. Well, this guy's pretty good. Okay, 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 we got this. Get the hell out of Dodge. Oh, I'm gonna end him right there. You don't get to give up, sir. No! No, you don't get to run away. That's not how this works. You tried to murder me. You get to die. That's it. Ooh, fine wine. Oh, good thing I killed that guy. I'm just being a boss? Well, I, I wouldn't say that. I was kind of being a meanie. Where'd my horse go? No, I feel like we ran... Yeah, there's the road. Found it. Well, he dropped a sword. That guy dropped a sword. There it is. Another falchion. A falchion. Learn to grapple. You know, I was really good at grappling before, but I think what had happened was I didn't tap the button fast enough, and I wasn't pushing forward. Uh, grappling's really good way. It used to definitely be a good way to get hits on somebody who just can't, you know, you can't get a hit and combos aren't working. Um, I would just grapple with them and then as soon as the grapple was over I would use that opportunity to sneak a stab in. Because it's faster than um, a slash. I was I was actually just trying to let that guy get some more hits in so I can block and try to try to get better at blocking because I've forgotten how to do it. Oh, it's a straight shot. We're not even going to fast travel. I do like how you're putting the stickers on. It looks great. Where's my beer? <sighs> I got a little bit of... Oh, head. That should have knocked me off. That would have been funny if it did. There's a tree going across the road. Well, thanks, buddy. You know, I um, I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, I don't put out content as much as I should, and I uh, wish I could do more content people liked. But uh, when I do streams, I love talking to you guys. Oh, it's still a good. It's still a sticker, baby. It's still a sticker. It looks great. I really appreciate it, man. All oh, the stream buffered. All uh, what I was. The big thing I was saying was. Um, I really appreciate you subbing, and I wish I put out more content or put it out faster or put out stuff people liked. But when I do play and I do put stuff up, I love chatting with you guys. 
any of my subs. I've been playing a lot of Warframe lately, uh, to be honest. But when I saw this pop up, I had to jump on it. I love it. it looks great, kid. Yeah, I got. I'm looking at uh, where she's putting on there and your texts and your messages and uh, not paying attention to where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, so here, by the way, this is what this is Privis Lovitz. If you've been here before, it looks different now. We clear cut everything, okay, right around it. And there's the the church up at the top that you probably recognize from a couple cutscenes. Um, I built this nice little trader shop. Uh, we also put in a better bridge. Uh, we have some slightly better roads, and I put a what are they call a rat house, which is basically like the 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 civic center or not civic center the the yeah. um, uh, city hall kind of deal up at the top here. But we cleared everything out, oh, all the tents that were over here gone, everything gone, 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 gone. I built all this up here. It's it's actually kind of nice. I'm, I I had to go get some resources before I could then go and add the next few buildings. So I'm, ex I'm excited to see what happens. I know that we're um, going to be fixing that thing up next and putting in some more shops. I'm more interested in putting the shops in. It looks great, kid. I'm more interested in putting the shops in so I can make some money because I've been spending a lot. I think I've dropped already about 20 grand, probably 30 on building this place. Let's look and see how much money I have left in here. 33 grand. Okay, that's what it was. All right, that's good. Uh, I had 76 grand. That 30 plus what I currently have, 23. I guess I've only spent about 10 grand. 10 or 15. Yeah. Potion trader, nice. All right, so here we go. We're looking at the ledger. We have stone, we have grain, we have charcoal, we have livestock. Those are the resources I had to go out and procure a contract with these guys to deliver to us. Uh, the village income is negative. I, I am not making any any money, but I or it's it's twelve hundred. But I'm definitely spending money. So we are we're definitely summary. We're in the hole. We're in the red. So let's start looking at what we can build to make this place fleshed out. We got the rat house. I'm not doing the extended rat house. Not yet. Uh, basic church repairs are going to be expensive as shit. I need that to get the church fully restored. A forge? Uh, I think we should do a forge. Yeah, let's build the forge. Uh, that, that That's tools. I've decided what to build. Yeah, nice. Where'd he go? Where'd old boy go? Well, there's a guy I usually talk to. I thought that's who he was talking to. Hey, there he is. That's the guy. That's the architect guy. Yeah, let's go. Let's get building. Show me the spot. Do you think we should put the forge? I don't think it should be too high. Okay, he's doing the long way. Okay, these arrows are where old walls used to be. Okay, what's that, kiddo? You just have fun with that thing. That's all you, babe. All right, man. I'll see you when you get back. Okay, we're going to turn that into a hotel. Definitely a hotel. Oh, yeah, I see what you're doing. You're fixing it. Right here? Oh, we're going to put it right beside the uh, trader's place. Yes. Shall we get started? We should get started. Make it happen. Let's get started! Ooh, bring everything. that volume down. About mm. ten. What? We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in then. A few days later. Yes, it's a meme, Kaylee. Oh, look at that! Oh, yeah! This is perfect. Nice. It's a blacksmith shop. A forge. Oh, my daughter. Okay, we uh we put in a forge. 
so it's right beside the trader trader joe's or whatever that's kind of nice oh let's catch old boy i want to uh i want to craft some more stuff welcome back buddy welcome back all right come here come here pal i want to build some more stuff we're going to build the next shop let's build i want to build something so let's build master bailey what's it to be what are we going to build uh well We can't build people. No, a people. A people house. I already did a forge. You can make a giant people and then put all the stuff in. Okay, we got church, primary repairs, a bakery, a butcher shop, a guard house, and stables. I think we can do stables now, but I think we should go with a bakery and a butcher's. That's what we're going to go with. We're going to do those. Let's go with a bakery. People love food. People have to eat, and bread is a must. So let's build a bakery. Let's go to the side. I'll see you to the building. Following you. That's <laughs> the pathing. They spend all this time on this DLC making it look good. Uh, so that they don't have time to fix that guy's pathing. He makes some wonky navigation. Right here? That's actually not a bad spot right here. Yeah. Didn't you, I think he wants to do the stable over there. Excuse me, lady. Do you even have a house? You live over there? That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, greetings. No, you don't need any more stickers, lady. It looks pretty good as it is. Right here. Ready to start. Yeah, I don't think the guardhouse should be something I build anytime soon. And the reason why that is, is I, um, I'm just trying to get the the ledger in the black. And what I mean by that is, right now in the negative. I'm spending more money than I'm getting in as income from my town. <clears throat> and so it's in the red. Uh, in the black means that I'm making more money than I'm spending. I just want to put up as many shops as I possibly can. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. So that I can start to make some cash. All good. We can start construction. Oh, good deal, kid. There it is. Those are a lot of little stickers. There we go. We got a nice bakery going on. Oh, this guy's making bread. Look at there we go. This is turning into a town, Kaylee. Yeah. Turning to a town. Town. Turning into a town. A little village. It's more of a little village right now, and that looks really good. I like what they did there with the road. Alright. If I got the money, I'm gonna go ahead and build. I want to build something. What am I gonna build? Certainly, Master Bailiff. How about we make this What's shop? it to be? Another shop? Yeah. How about? Ooh, I don't see a tavern, beehives, drying shed for the baker. Let's let's actually go look at the ledger. Let's, let's hit nothing. Let's I'd go look at. The, yeah, let's go look at the ledger. Let's see how we're doing for cash. Ledger. The ledger's boring. You think that book is boring? Well, learn to read, woman. Learn to read. Um, <laughs> let's go look at the ledger. See what we really need or what resources are necessary. You're just repeating yourself. Your jokes aren't funny. Your jokes aren't funny, kid. No, no, no. Yeah. Yep. Well, the profits from the town go to me, so I actually don't have to pay taxes, and I get the profits from the first five years of this place running. It's, that's the deal I'm, I'm running with. And it looks like we're making profits. We are making profit right now. We are in the positive. With the forge and the bakery, we're making profit. Um, that's 85. We're making 85. Woohoo! And we only have 20 grand left in the... We spent 13 so far uh, since I got back to town. Let's see what we can do. Oh, looking nice. Look at that. Look at that. Right? Oh, let's see what we got here. Let's 
try the next one. That's going to cost us more money, so I don't really want to do upgrades to the... Let's... That's going to cost money, too. Can What can I make that makes me money? Okay, well, I'm seeing stuff like uh, swordsmith's equipment, armor smith's equipment. Oh, if we get a stable in, we'll be able to make money off of the horseshoes. Okay. Drying shed was something I could that would add another 85 to the bakery and give me some more profit. Cakes for the tavern, nice. Honey cakes means I'm going to need um, uh, the beehive. The butcher. That's what I wanted to put in was a butcher. But I can't build it. What am I li missing? Livestock. I've got that. Meat for tavern. Generates. It generates. Why can't I build that? Prerequisites lacking. I got money. It says it's all good. It's all in the. I don't know. Stable. I can build stable. That will make us profit. We'll go with stable. We'll go with a stable. Yeah, the trader is cost of charcoal, livestock. Oh man, the cart horses will make up some money, but it looks like our trader is going to cost us money. S stone is going to be pretty cheap. All right, so let's do that. Let's do stables. Yeah, the tavern's a good idea, but I want to make the stables will give me money twice. It gives me money because I have horses, but it also gives me money because of the um, the blacksmith will be making horseshoes, and that makes me money too. So I'll be making money off of multiple transactions. Uh, as soon as the stable's put in place, I'll double check my cash flow. Uh, probably going to add in uh, the beehive so I can add the tavern and get everything from it. Because the tavern makes uh, money off the the, bee, the the beehive as well. The honey, they can make mead. Uh, so they can sell mead as well. So they'll be buying mead from the uh, the beehive. I'll be making money from the beehive and what they sell to the tavern and what the tavern sells. I gave you an idea? That's what I do. I have ideas. We're going to build here? Right here. Ready to start? Is this game racist? Um, I'm not sure how this game could be racist, dude. It's medieval. Yeah. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. It's like it, it's like need. if somebody made a civil war game. If someone made a game that takes place in the American Civil War, um, during the, like the 1880s, and they didn't have female soldiers and complained about it being sexist. No, this this game's not any racist. It's it's historical. Stables. Nice. That's good money. Oh, we got horses now. There we go. probably going to want me to get the church up and running so people can worship or whatever. Those NPCs just... It's like two p phones pairing. Here you go. Come here, buddy. Talk to me. How's our city doing? So, how am I doing with the village? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. Yeah. The village is big enough now. So Divish can bring in more people if he wants and start expanding as he was planning. The church is still in ruins. Yeah. Doesn't create a good impression. I'll work on that on next. Right track. But we haven't reached the end yet. Alright, I'll get stuck in. Alright, let's get that church fixed. Oh, I could probably just talk to you and do that. Let's do that. Let's get that church fixed. Heh <laughs> Yeah, people were complaining when the game first came out because there were no minority characters or female characters as the lead. And they're like, we're trying to make a historical game here about things that happened in our history. And in this part of um, uh, the world, what used to be called... Um... Oh, what is... 
What is that song f from um, Queen? Bohemian. Okay, Bohemian Rhapsody. So I was thinking of Bohemia. This area of Bohemia did not have people of minority races in during this time frame. And so people were complaining in, in the media that this game was racist because it was being historically accurate and only showed people of Slavic descent in a time period where that was the only people there. If this place, if this took place in, like, um, Prague, I could understand that would be upset if there were no minorities. Because there were people from other countries in Prague at this time. But not out here in the rural areas. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Well, yeah, I mean, that's one way of looking at it, but even back then, they were, you have to think of, like, the, the they were, like, you play this game, you can see that people back then were very religious. Um, women still had a very useful role, even in that society. Not only were they, they weren't property as much as they were God-given baby makers that need to stay at home. Uh... <laughs> They don't treat women bad here. They don't treat them like property. They just didn't treat them like men. Yeah, there weren't any any black people here in this time frame. In Prague, there were. There were plenty of people from Africa who would visit. Uh, there were very rich tribes in Africa who had resources. But you would not see that here. Not during this time period. It's like 1409 or 1403. Yeah, no. There wasn't even... like The, the New World hasn't been discovered yet. Except for the Vikings found it. Well, Leif Erikson found it, and he wasn't technically a Viking. But no one else knew. Let's start repairing the church. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building, so they don't botch anything. Alright, let's see what he can do to this church. I still think it would be cool if it was a wizard castle. A nice wizard castle would be would be awesome. Or an observatory. There's some decent, you know, clear view here. Could we do something for science, maybe? No? Okay. What was the pathing there, sir? All right, make it happen. We're gonna build here. Right Swimming here. deemed you Pretty a witch. <laughs> she floats. She weighs as much as a duck, and therefore is a witch. You're absolutely right. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. Oh, that looks nicer. They actually put more boards on it. And it has a roof. It has a roof. That really helps a lot. Oh, it's ready for a bell. These are basic repairs. That's the place where you fight the, the one of the bosses in this game. That's nice. It's been all fixed up. Ah, it looks a little better. I did forget a little bit. I can go up here? Oh, okay. Alright. You know what? I haven't saved the game in a while. Let's not do anything crazy. <laughs> Try to climb a ladder and get stuck. Game. Alright. There's a big shadow on the ground. That's actually from a cloud. That's nice. Very realistic. Okay, um, let's go check our resources. I wanted to put in a butcher, but it wouldn't let me do it. Let's see if maybe I need some other stuff. What are we looking at? 5K! Ugh! We spent so much money. <gasps> oh, wow. Yes. All 
All right, I'm thinking about putting Oof. 20 grand in? What do you think, Kaylee? 20 grand? Sure. Alright, well, be careful. I really wish you would go somewhere else and play. Oh, I'm trying to be all OCD here, I'm try but I'm trying to get it to be exactly on the money. There we go. It gives me three grand. I gotta go sell stuff. I generate memes randomly. Gotcha, buddy. Gotcha. All right. We're making money. Not enough to really pay back all the for, pay for any more upgrades, but we're making money. I mean, I can afford that, but that's going to take a lot of my cash. I think we should upgrade the some of the forge and the bakery. And we'll make a little bit of cash. The butcher shop. Why can't I build it? I don't understand. I just, I don't understand why I can't. Why can't I make this? Is this a bug? cannot be built with bakery you could either have a butcher shop or a bakery but I can't have both can't be built with bakery oh that sucks I should have went with a butcher shop the butcher shop makes more money I'd be able to get 390 out of it uh, I can get more out of a bakery. Okay, we'll go. With, we'll keep the bakery as it is. All right, stables are good. We could up up update that a little bit. Tavern. I think it's time for a tavern. Trader still not making profit. That's some good money right there. It generates brewery, dice games, meat. Eh, probably is, mead. Mead definitely good. Thirsty soldiers. I don't think I have enough people to really need a moderator yet, man. I appreciate it, though. Main story. Yes, I did go through the main story. I did every bit of it. I finished it, and the last thing to do, which I actually did at the beginning of the stream, is go talk to Lord Capon and uh, ride off into the sunset with his uh, with the other the, the other soldiers that were guarding us as we head to the next uh, cities over to go talk to um, the nobles. Uh, so yeah, I actually did finish the main storyline. I did as many quests as I could. And I have to say that one of my favorite quests has to be the monastery quest where I pretended to be a monk, or at least I pretended to be a um, a young man who was interested in becoming a monk. Uh, a lot of people seem to not like that one. I really, really... Bye, guy. Bye, buddy. Bye, mean bot. Take it easy, buddy. I really did like pretending to be a... Um, a monk and having to ha uh, sneak around in the middle of the night and do stuff like that and have to be at places or get in trouble that was actually fun for me i enjoyed it uh we're gonna build a tavern time to build a Alice, tavern there's work to be done that shouldn't take too long come along with me and we'll take a look at the site oh see i wish i'd known i couldn't build both a uh bakery and butcher if I'd known that, I would not have I would not have went out and got the resources for a butcher. My town's coming together. It's it's about a, a third of the way from being a town. But after we build this, oh, is this it? Okay, I'm gonna take a quick bio break. We're gonna build here. Yes. 
I don't have cool overlays and uh, music to play, but uh, yeah. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Do some repairs, mm -hmm. sell some gear. Well, good. I'm running low on cash. That 70 grand disappeared real quick. <sighs> Beard number two, down. Excuse me. There we go. Now we're going to be in the money. Raking it in. Let's get drunk. Probably going to need a guard shack pretty soon. I got as many people here. I need to protect them. Oh, it's nighttime. This looks great. Can't wait to see it during the day. I have a tavern. Yes, I do. Let's wash myself up. <sighs> well, we got people with names here. That's crazy. God. Henry, I'm glad you stopped by. Stop by, woman. I own this place. Let's see how much resources we have left. We should start making money. It'd be nice to see the coffers actually increase. We have 17 grand. Okay. Um, I should probably sleep. Not in here. How's my food look? We're good on nourishment, and we're actually good on on that. So on energy. All right, so I'm going to go AFK for a minute. Be right back with the stream. Uh, see you guys there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, 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 I'm back! I am back! And I have a new beer, which makes being back even better. Still see it's nighttime and we have chickens. Let's see if I can advance the timeline a bit. Okay, that's not the button. That's the button! That works for me. Damn side, I know you were playing it on a hard cord. Is that the only um, time you've played it through? And how far have you gotten? Main story wise. There's a bit of a delay. Well, it's daytime. That's good. Let's see what this town looks like. It looks pretty good. Wish I could just make money now. Never before. Okay. Hardest part I had in the normal version was when I got to... Um, I was chasing down some guys who had attacked a stable at... Uh, it wasn't Ujits. It was... Uh, let's look at the map. Right here. The Neuhof. Yes. The, the guys who attacked Neuhoff Stables, I had tracked it back to some guys at Ledechko, who was wrecked. They killed that dude pretty rough. But there was a... There was a guy at a... At a no, no, what was it? it was up here. It was a windmill. It was a windmill um, where I went to go talk to this guy's girl. Uh, this nice girl, I'm sorry, his sister. Went to go talk to this guy's sister about where he might be. He was a big brute kind of guy, kind of slow, but she might know where he is. Well, anyway, after talking to her, she gave me some information, and then some dude showed up. And I had that. I found that to be the hardest, because I wasn't uh, able to talk my way out of it. I had to f uh, try to fight these guys, and it was the hardest one for me to do. In the main quest. After that, I was either strong enough to fight my way out of a problem, or able to talk my way out of one. Hey, 780. That looks pretty good. So since I only put in an even amount of, of money, and everything that was even, uh, to the 500 at least, so it might be like 1500 or 7500, it was... The fact that I have 17,870 means that 870, more than likely, has been money that we've we've earned. That's good. I don't want to do any upgrades. I don't. I want to let time pass, so I can uh, make money and use the money to build stuff. 
Because if I go and build that church, it's going to cost 17000 And it's not going to make me any cash. It's only going to be a negative 300 off the off my cash. Ooh, that's right. We could do some upgrades. We could do upgrades. That'll make us weapon. Uh, make uh, make us some money. Improvement number one and improvement number two. Let's do improvement number one. There's work to be done. Come on, let's go for a walk. Come with me then. We'll start building. Okay, I lost him, but I know where he should be going. He should be going. There he goes. He's freaking sprinting. There's a dude with white armor later on in the game. But uh, I interrogated that guy. Wasn't so worried about. This is the forge. Okay. We're going to build here? Yes. Shall we get started? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in there. Gosh, I hope so. We're getting low on cash. I need to go sell the gear I have. Oh, I can actually use the wheel here. This guy's got a wheel. I can uh, repair those swords. beer. Alright, what'd they add? Definitely looks good. Got a shop and everything. I want to build something. Certainly. Master Bailiff, what's it to be? We could add a fruit drying hut for the baker, so he can bake even better pastries and even fruit pies in the winter. Very well. Come along with me. Once we're there, I'll oversee the building. Is so it one anything. thing or the other? Because... I don't know if I paid attention to whether or not that was um, a grindstone's good. I'm glad we have a grindstone. I probably would have picked weapons over armor anyway. Oh, <laughs> where are you going? Bakery's over here. I probably would have picked that over of over um, armor anyway, just because I can any weapons I can automatically get them to 100 without having to spend any money repairing them. Even no matter how bad it is, I can put it on a wheel. I can't do that with uh, armor. Even though I have a, a maxed out score on repair, I can't repair really damaged armor, but I can repair damaged weapons. We're going to build here? Indeed. Yeah, I bet, buddy. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in then. There was another fight uh, that I really enjoyed where I was able to parlay with the bandit leader and I was able to uh, get it to a one-on-one -on -one fight with him. Uh, that was pretty awesome. I still killed all of his men after it was over. Every one of them. But, you know, it was, pretty, it was a good fight. I take that back. I think one or two of them may have run off after engaging me, but I fought them all at once. You could not have done that in the hardcore mode. Mm -hmm. 
And we're down to 16 grand. That's not bad. Not bad after a couple upgrades. Those upgrades should give us more money. And yes, we've got a thousand dollars coming in. Yeah, this is actually a reason to make money. I mean, I, w I was sitting there trying to make money just to see if... Because I had no idea what I was going to be able to do with all that money. I mean, Skyrim had a, a money sink for you. You had all you could buy houses at all these different places and, up, you know, and, and, and furnish them. Um, and early on, you didn't have enough money for that cheap little itty-bitty house. But um, by the time you were done with the game, they, they added that hearth, uh, Hearthfire uh, DLC where you could actually go out and build your own house or multiple houses the way you wanted it to be because they knew people had money and nothing to do with it. This is a perfect example of that, of people having shit tons of money. I had like 76 grand, uh, but nothing to spend it on. And I, I, I spent a lot of time trying to make money. I got basic repairs done on that. That's going to cost 17000 I still don't want to do it. <laughs> can't be built. Armorsmith tools can't be built, but you can build one or the other, it looks like. Okay. Weapons for garrison. Oh, I can make more money if I have a garrison. <sighs> Honey cakes for the bakery. Why is that? Oh, because I need to make the... Ooh, go back one. There we go. Saddler's equipment. I don't know what I'm going to need for that. Can't be built... Can't be built with a guardhouse. Oh, so I can't have a guardhouse and a stable? Ugh. So I can't have this. That sucks. Trader is still negative. Is that charcoal is expensive? I don't need the livestock. I really don't. <sighs> There's a tavern. Mm, okay, so brewery or dice games. One or the other. Brewery's going to get me the 300 and probably the mead. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Beehives, not built. We should totally build this. Because I'll be able to get money from the bakery and a tavern. That'll be 180. That'll pay for it. 1500 is not bad. we should definitely go with the brewery up instead of the dice games. The dice games would only make us 200. We're going to go with number 1. Marius, there's work to be done. And then we're going to put in the beehive and that'll make us loads of cash. You see in this little room. Come on, buddy. All put right. your chair in. Let's go. I'll muster the labor. Come with me. No, you come with me. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> I watched a streamer play, uh, uh, start to try to get, you know, the first part of this done. I don't think I watched past him coming out here to, uh, to see Divish, or meet Divish here. And he only had, like, 30 grand and thought he was super rich. I knew I had, like, at least 50. When I logged in, I had 76. I was like, okay, yeah, that's right, 70. It's not hard to make a lot of money. If you don't play on hardcore, you know, I have to say that because that's We're gonna build here. It's gonna be tougher for you. Indeed. Can we begin? I'm ready. I'm basically just, just turning my money into buildings. We have everything we need. Hmm. We've got what we need. Let's get to work. Let's do it. Ensure sufficient income. Yeah, we got we got income. We got money over twelve hundred. That's good. I'm gonna put the I'm still gonna put the um the beehives in. But these guys make mead, they make booze. Hell yeah. I don't 
what's going to happen next now that I've hit the subjective on the quest. I'm okay with continuing to build and throw money into the place. I still have a couple upgrades. Nice. Very nice. Oh, beehives, beehives. Yeah, no, I got you, buddy. Ooh, wife made food. Let's build, build beehive. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Yeah, yeah, horses were definitely an investment. I did like the horse, uh, getting a horse. Having the first free horse that you actually get, um, that you can call, it made such a difference, such a big difference in the game. But then when I had enough money to buy something With all the woods around, we ought to fancy, I went out and bought the, the most expensive horse I could. I bought, well, anyway, I bought the Pegasus come along with at the time. But I have the Once war horse now. I'll oversee the building, so they don't botch anything. <sighs> yeah, let's go see this beehive. Where's it going? Where's the beehive going to be? Yeah, you better run. You better run. We're here? Well, that was very far. I kind of put something in here? this hole. Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've got what we need. Let's get to work. We better. We had better have what we need because, ah, oh, I spent so much money. Now we have bees. Now we have bees. I gotta go see this ledger. I gotta go see how much money we're making now. Oh, I'm excited. See, that's the thing. At least with the town, if you can get the town built, even partially, it just slowly start making money for you. And I mean slowly. Fifteen grand. It's actually gone up. <clears throat> yeah, we're bringing in fifteen hundred. However often this thing checks, I don't know if it's daily. If it's daily, then that's something doable. I would actually go and sleep for a couple days, take a, take a, a vacation, um, to be able to afford more upgrades. I have not done church repairs. I need to do the church repairs. Those cost seventeen thousand, and I could afford it. I just don't want to. Look at there. Look at the city. It's got just about everything in it. Uh, the, this, the church looks like shit up there, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, I bet you do. I don't mind self the the running on the you know, riding the horse from place to place. It's kinda cool in the middle of a storm, going through a woods. Trader is still in the negative. We are losing money to the trader. That would be 50 less if I hadn't have bought livestock. I'm not doing anything with the meat. I can get the second improvement for dice games? Really? That would be another 200 coming in. If I spend a thousand now, I get another 200 per day. In five days, I'd get my money back. 
Basic structure. I'm th I'm thinking I'm I'm seriously thinking about doing that upgrade real quick. Oh, we can get another improvement for this guy. Um, that's another seventy for two thousand. <sighs> This is a better one. Marius, there's work to be done. How much money do I have on me? I only have three grand. Yeah, this... I can't put more money in. I have used up all my money. You guys need to start making me money. You guys need to start making me money. That's what I could do. I could probably uh, finish this upgrade up and probably leave it like that. Because I don't have enough to get the... Oh, what's up, buddy? I don't have quite enough to get the the, cast, the, the, the church done. We're going to build here? But in the stream, pretty much after Indeed. that. Can we begin? 20 lock picks, yeah. Oh, 20 pick block. Nice, nice. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in then. My wonderful wife just brought me some food. Thanks, babe. Ooh, I'll take those profits. Thank you very much. The house always wins. Well, that took some time, huh? Where can I sleep? It says a hotel here, right? Do I get a free room? I had better get a free room. I haven't even gone in some of these buildings. Alright, we need a torch. Yeah, that's that's not a place to sleep. Oh, that's where you can play. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There's a bed. I'm gonna sleep here. Uh, they didn't say I didn't. I couldn't. Didn't say I'm trespassing. I am totally sleeping here. There we go. All right, man. You take it easy. Thanks for um, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. It's been fun talking to you. Good luck on your um, your playthrough. And um, yeah, you've convinced me. I'm gonna have to try it. I'm gonna have to try hardcore. I might make some videos of it, but I'll at least try it. Good luck, buddy. Take it easy.
Well, I think we're going to call the stream here. I'm uh, going to let it run for a couple days, build up some cash enough to repair that bad boy. And I'll start it back uh, after that thing is restored. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, I've definitely enjoyed playing it. Hey, watch it. Hey. Dude, don't even... I'm the bailiff. Don't even... Uh, other than that guy, I've enjoyed you guys. Uh, it's been fun talking to you, and uh, take it easy, guys.